yo we playing the wide fist league around yo <laughs> The tour will be starting like in a couple minutes. But I think I forgot to set up some stuff, so I'm gonna be doing that real quick. Yo, Rene, we back, we back. <laughs> um, this is the... It's actually not even a league altogether. This is a tournament. Thus, a respectable little tournament. Also, no clue if my settings are right anymore. <laughs> I have not checked. So it might be a little skill. But yeah, I've been gone for like two weeks, kind of crazy. But we're back, we're back. Because my uh, brother visited from out of town, from all Texas. And I... Oh, the music's loud? Okay, okay. Moving it down, moving it down. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Okay, I can keep it like that, probably. Bracket's still not up yet. <laughs> Let's see. I'm surprised I started like uh, five minutes late at the tournament. We're still like way good. <laughs> uh, actually, you guys can look at the team. The team. The team. I mean, it's a thunder, it's not a butter for you. This. <laughs> and it has a bulk up. And you guys know the drill, the whole pace will be public on the Discord whenever this tournament's done, even if we go O2, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And it will also be in the sub section if you're a nerd and want to waste money. <laughs> yeah, the same deal, the same deals. It's been so long though, it's been so long. Dun, dun, dun. 
unfortunately my other <laughs> the capture card I borrowed has like way too much delay because otherwise I was going to play Legends of Arceus today. I still might anyways through the delay but it's like really bad. <laughs> it feels like five seconds which is a little absurd but we will be getting a new capture card soonest to help that out a little bit. Okay, there's 54 people in the tournament. Let's see. We got Cadillac, Pengi. I know Pengi's streaming. I don't know who this guy is. Oh, B. Smithy, Marco Fierro. Marco might be streaming as well. Okay, Tile. Kempo, Chase, Anubis, Queen Light, Charisma, Borgi, um, oh, Bread. It's a pretty decent tournament. I imagine this is, no, I don't know who that is. <laughs> 200 Candies, Max Rockfall, Dirty Char, Or 12 minutes past start time. Interesting, interesting. I guess I'll check the Discord real quick and see what's up. There shouldn't be any problems, I would imagine. It is. Mm, oh, it is Battlefly. <laughs> um, it's a different tournament. That's all, like, that's the best way to say it. I don't know if those people even know Packles. <laughs> I don't feel like being the one to inform them. Oh, Justin, what's, <laughs> thank you for best of three. Yo, okay, that's a good name. It's kind of nice, kind of nice. And we're still not even through NJ's playlist, by the way. <laughs> Every stream I've done for like the past, ever since NJ gave me the stream, gave me his playlist, I mean, I've just been using his playlist, and I'm not even like all the way through it. <laughs> Funny enough. Yeah, I'll be using this playlist until like, I get to the end, and I, then I'll start making my own one. And making changes, making changes. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I guess I should actually tweet out the stream. I should actually get my controller charger because I'm just leaving it on right now.
and I couldn't even find my charger. <laughs> I hope I didn't leave it at the hotel or something. That would be kind of embarrassing. But who knows, who knows. Either way, we will deal, and we totally won't have to use one Joy-Con later today. <laughs> Definitely not a possibility. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay, they're going to be going in the next few minutes. Ooh. Oh, there's actually an official -ish stream for this. Nice well official stream. Ba -ba -ba. And that's a official stream of this tournament today. The nice little official stream. Oh, well, we got auto retweeted by a bot. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Alright, alright. Yeah, it should be like any minute now though. I hope. Okay, there we go. The minute I say that, let's go. Our first round, our first round. We were playing versus Austin. Crazy. I don't know who Austin is, but yeah. Gator Croc is their battle fly. Very cool. But yeah, we'll get right into it, we'll get right into it. <laughs> Man, it's been like weeks since I've really played. This should be interesting. <sighs> but yeah, bulk up Groudon is gonna come in clutch. Believe it, believe it. Yo, Olsen. I just got back this a uh, couple hours ago. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Well, that's the one that's deciding the rules. Huge. What a gamer. We're not using anything too crazy, other than we have a bulk of crowd on. <laughs> that's the only crazy thing about this game. Yo, know, bulk up Growlithe might be insane in the back though. <laughs> Wait, unironically, might be kind of insane with it. A little bulk up Growlithe. Wait, what? What do he do though? What do he do? <laughs> He's... Hmm. Well, if he goes for Bulldoze with Raikou, he's going to be faster than his own Solgaleo. So I think going Thunderous is fine. I know I want Groudon, but I don't know where I want Groudon is the only thing. Yeah, I go like Thunderous P2 and we can like foul play him on the turn one. Then maybe go for like a Trick Reel and like go Groudon back and play off of that. Um, it's in. I'm gonna try this. It feels a little weird. I know it does, but this the foul plays and the Bulk up Groudon might win it for us in the back. Oh yeah, it is. Inner focus in this bulldoze and a lot of support moves. It's solid, it's solid. Well, let's see. So Galio or IQ, of course. Uh 
Oh yeah, do I even have Fall Point on the Slenderers? <laughs> I might not. Now that I think about it. Oh, we do. Cool. I'm just gonna Foul Poi that. I'm just gonna Trick Room. Or I could double Foul Poi too. That might actually be a little better. Yeah, there's a Dynamax. I imagine this is gonna be a Bulldoze and this is Steel Spike. I'm curious how much of this will do, because it's just a double foul play. <laughs> he is Dynamax, so it's probably not going to kill him, especially after Steel Spike, but you know. It will do a decent chunk. And regardless, we will be faster on the next turn, so. Howl, okay. That's kind of wild. <laughs> He's going to be plus three now. So that actually does uh, do him really well. Because plus 3 and he's made KO with my P2 now. Yeah, there's a Steel Spike into P2. That's funny. Oh, he did even KO. Okay. Yeah, he's plus 3. <laughs> Ugh. What a turd. <laughs> okay. Let's go. P2 kind of goaded. Kind of insane. Yeah, we foul play now. I don't think he'll let me get Trick Room, but we'll Trick Room anyways. It's kind of inconsequential. But yeah, there's a Vol Switch and P2. That's fine, that's fine. But yeah, he's going to lose his Soul Galio now. Because <laughs> his plus 3 Soul can even KO my P2. Yeah, it's probably really bulky. Let's see, the Rillaboom. Alright. Alright, alright. Yeah, it's already such a commanding position to be in for us. I'm just gonna go instant. I could just go grab on here, but there's like no point. Yeah, there's Raikou. And now I'm just gonna airstream the Rillaboom and this uh, Lariat it as well. There's basically like nothing I have to worry about anymore because he already lost his Dynamax. Honestly, I don't even know if this tournament's best of three, but I imagine it is. I'm gonna check now. <laughs> best of three, okay, cool. All right, he's just letting me get the attack off. He could be Colt Koba Berry, but this not a big deal either so he goes for a howl that's not going to save him though that is not saving him yeah we airstream yep clean ko And this is a nice little Lariat onto the Raikou. Kyogre, okay. I'm just gonna click Lightning. It doesn't really matter what I do at this point, but I'm just gonna Lightning Lariat. Oh, he goes for a Helping End, but... <laughs> we just Lightning, yep. It does make me wonder if he's actually Scarf, or he's just uh, revealing his moves for no reason. Which is probably the more uh, correct thing, because like... <laughs> That helping hand doesn't do anything for him. Unless you forgot about like the airstream and try to waste. It doesn't even KO, so. 
But yeah, we know the Raikou set is Helping Hand, Volt Switch, Howl. We don't know the last move. It's probably Bulldoze, though. This for a self proc, if I had to guess. This is a pretty cute move set, but it doesn't really do enough for him. And we just take the game. Oh, take the game in a second. Pause, 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 pause. Lariat. Huge. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there's a Lariat, and we get the game. This matchup seems pretty good for us, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if this having Grout on the back, this hinders his team so much. Like, actually, I don't really know what he does into Grout on back. And Thunderous is pretty insane as well into him. He has Rilla, he has Kyogre. Not even the Solgaleo particularly likes the fact that I can just foul play him. So overall, this is pretty positive. And the fact that my P2 lived a plus 3 skill spike probably has my opponent a little scared. <laughs> At least I would be a little scared after that one, for sure. That was a plus 3 skill spike, man. I'm gonna play for Thun Groudon, P2 back. And Venu, I think. It's like Thun Groudon, or I could also go Groudon P2 here. I think that's maybe a little more appealing. Can we Thun back? And it's Venu or Incend. I'm just gonna go Incend. We could also go Venu back and go like, or we could go Venu PQ with Groudon back. Hmm. I'm just gonna do it like this. We have a lot of options, none of them feel too bad. But I kind of want to show off my Groudon set. <laughs> That's kind of the main motivation behind this lead, if I'm being perfectly honest. Soul Graikou, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun with this one. Yeah, there's the Dynamax, probably a Bulldoze. Or maybe a Howl again, but this is kind of fine for me. Yeah, there's the Max. <laughs> oh, is this a Howl again? Okay, that's perfectly fine. We already saw the damage from plus three Solgaleo into our B2. So this is not going to do too much at all. Yeah, here's a skill spike and a Groudon this time. Yeah, it's not too much damage. Get the bulk up. There's a full metal body, but that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. 
I don't think he's slow Kyogre. That's why I'm comfortable doing this. If he's slow Kyogre, then it's a little more annoying, but... I, I still don't think it's too consequential. Yeah, we're maxing Brought on. If they have Rilla back, it's uh, pretty great for us. <laughs> All a helping hand, it's fine. It won't KO. I don't think. Ooh, it's sass. Okay. It's actually a little more annoying. Yeah, there's a steel spike again. Doesn't kill. I'm gonna proc his weakness policy, but I think it's worth it. Okay, there's the blitz. Rockfall, okay, perfect. Perfectly fine. Okay, he's gonna lose his Dynamax here. Yeah, Raikou goes down. He's probably gonna bring in uh, Kyogre, if I had to guess. Mm, maybe Rilla Boom, actually. I may have put myself in a bad spot for Rilla for the end game. If Rilla just kills Grot on here, and we're pretty screwed, right? No, it's because Kyogre, okay. Grizzles. Hmm. He turns a trick room actually. Two? Okay. I'm gonna quake and I'm gonna eerie impulse the Kyogre, I guess. We can set up a scenario where we just kill the soul. It's fine. Okay, withdrawals Kyogre into Relaboom, I imagine. No, oh, instant. Okay. So our Groudon's gonna be neutral now. This is a protect. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, we eerie impulse the instant. Who does instant fake out here though? I guess that's part of the question. Yeah, we get a quake boost on our P2. <laughs> the lefties growled on, yo! <laughs> what a gamer dawn. Okay, there's one turn of Trick Room left. He's plus two, plus three, plus two defense, okay. I think I just blades and I foul play. The instant could kill if it's Lariat. Okay, it's not Lariat. So I now we gotta see if Foul Boy kills. If Foul Boy kills are good, I think. Ooh, it does. Nice. Because of that plus three. <laughs> the Howl actually sabotaged him a little bit. Yeah, we left these again. Nice. How many turns of rain and what stage of boost are we at? 
plus one, three turns of rain. Cool. So I think we just protect now, and we go for the trick room. If they have taunt on instant, that's a little annoying. We'll see, is it taunt? That's probably the one annoying set here. No, Larry out. Okay, fine. That is fine, because we're just going to get Trick Room. We're just going to be able to quick recover. <sighs> quick Blades. Fine. I don't think Lariat even kills my Groudon here. So we just get our blades off. Yeah, Lariat into Groudon. See how this does. Okay, good. <laughs> and we don't miss. No missers. And double kill. Yeah, now it's PQ. Thawned back versus Kyogre. There is really no out for the Kyogre player anymore. What? <laughs> that was still a lot of damage. Yeah, a little crit. Yeah, it's still fine though. We can just kind of quick attacks right now. I think two foul plays will be enough to kill the Kyogre. And Rain's going to be down in a second. I could also quick recover, but... We saw the damage on the critical hit there, so even with a critical hit, there's no KO. Oh, Crest doesn't get heal pulse anymore, Rene? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Was it for Zygarde stuff? I'm betting it's for Zygarde stuff. <laughs> that you attempted to do that. But yeah, we get a nice little win right there in round one. You'd love to see it. A respectable little victory. Bulk up Dawn, totally carried, 100%. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Who can we actually watch for this tournament? That is the next mystery. Because Marco Fierro, Marco Fierro. Actually, you might as well watch the mainstream, right? <laughs> what is the main guy doing? Crazy. Well, Hardy's burger. Kind of disgusting, honestly. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see. Interesting, interesting. Um, how about Nibs? How's Nibs doing? Got a little Nibbies. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, the Seismitoad, Kyogre still. Okay, okay. Okay, Thunder Wave off Grim. Ogre, okay. Max Geyser. Yo, <laughs> Zapdos just got absolutely smoked right there, dude. What the heck? They actually smoked. Okay. Um, hold on.
Crest gets prism armor? <laughs> oh, okay. The NDM, then Crow Death's main. But you know, I wanna have predicted that. I'll say that much. I was not gonna predict that. Does this have Crest as a win game on, I guess? Also, I wanna check something. Oh. Yo, loophole. I was gonna do a fair chunk even with the light screen, and uh, yeah, Yavuddle's parrot. And I totally didn't realize my mic was off again. <laughs> but yeah, that's interesting though. The little prism armor on the crest, yellow. The little wind game on, it's call mine, give it prism armor, huge. <laughs> yeah, liquidation. It's now minus one defense. Yeah. Even have the para with that thunder too. Kinda insane. Spear break onto Seismitoad. Yo. Scald. Grim, this is gonna KO again. So it's looking okay like Nibs has this game. I don't know if it's game two or game three or what. But yeah, it's pretty over, pretty over. Alright, alright. Oh, still one more Pokemon left. So I don't know what Poke. No, Sapien's not gonna be able to save you here because you skipped. <laughs> Targeted each turn. There's no spread. Earthquake. Okay. Yeah, you still earthquake yourself. If you're the opponent, you have to target around the Kyogre and hope the Kyogre dies. No switchies. When we attack these. Well, I guess you could switch out Kyogre in the car actually and protect this turn. But that's a little risky because if he goes for substitute, then you're kind of creating a scenario where you actually could lose this game. So I think it's more effective to say, eh, if I get parrot, I get parrot in this quick earthquake and this quick uh, scald. I, I don't really like liquidation there. Though I honestly don't like that he's earthquake either, so. <laughs> I would have much preferred to see Stommy Cantrum. But he has the defense drop again. Okay, never mind. He's better. He's just better. <laughs> it was a pretty big deal because now Kartana is going to do a lot extra with that smart strike. I don't think it's quite range though, even with that defense drop. Oh, now it's range because no para. So, yeah, this is secures the game and he gets a burn too. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, Kartana just comes in. Oh, uh, you could use Weather back, but he's Earthquake, right? So he needs every chip he can get. And if Zacian has sub, basically. This is really the scenario. I think Nibs is like, ah, he might quick sub here. At least that's what I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, Skull kills, yep. I'm kind of surprised the minus one smart strike didn't kill at 50%. <laughs> like, that's Zacian kind of crazy, huh? Zacian kind of crazy. But I know smart strike's not the strongest move in the world, but still Kartana is using it. Wait, actually a little embarrassing. Oh, okay, there's another game. Let's go. It's kind of hype. Big gamers right here. He's gonna battle with the same rules, yo. Which I'm gonna ask right now, is it game three, question mark? Cause like, I think it's game three. We're all asking anyways. Oh. You probably answered that, but I can't actually hear him, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> 
It doesn't matter. But yeah, it's probably game three. There's no way a Seismitoad game that took that long, right? But well, this again to Yvettel's gate Gastrodon stuff, so maybe it did. Oh! Cowy Eyes, okay. Yes. Yeah, Mimikyu. Hmm. Seismic Hood did put a lot of work in, so he's getting Seismic Hood, Mimikyu, Kara, Kyogre again. Oh, Kali Ice, okay. So saying no to the rain. Hmm. I'm not so sure how much I like that. I'm not sure how much I like that. Okay, you little grim. All right, and Mimikyu Seismitoad. You know, this is a really good scenario for having Cowie Ice in the back here. Like a really good scenario. Though it will be interesting to me if this Grim Star is foul play actually, because this is a foul play Grim, then things become a little bit tougher because you get a foul play Dark Aura boost, which is going to do so much damage to Cowie Ice even with through the Dynamax and stuff. Trick room, trick room. Okay, you have little Dynamaxes. Um, I don't know if I like that Dynamax. I kind of feel like it doesn't really do much for you in the end game. It does give it a little live a little longer, but like I don't think that matters too much. There's a darkness. Who cares? <laughs> Wait, actually, who cares? He is trying to ISO Seismitoad, which I do respect in case Kyogre's in the back. But because Cowie Ice is in the back, this is a waste of a Dynamax completely. And if you're Nibs, you're just like, oh, cool. This is my favorite scenario. <laughs> Ooh, even a defense drop there, too. Deadly. Yeah, it's already looking pretty good for Nibs. The Dynamax is going to be down soon. Kali Ice is safe to come in the bag. Like, can't ask for better. So then again, I feel like this might be a double target into the Mimikyu. I know the Mimikyu will survive, but I don't think you want Seismitoad to live the turn here. Like, Seismitoad living the turn here is actually, would be so bad. But it's so scary to switch Seismitoad into Kali Ice too, right? But yeah, it's going into Mimikyu. Yep. And it's going to be another Max Darkness, and this is going to KO Mimikyu, and you lose your self proc now. You will probably KO Grim. Okay, I think he targeted that. Get a liquidation. Okay. Defense drop. Defense drop. No. Sad Sides Method. Yeah, this play rough is going to KO. Cool, cool, cool. Darkness. Into the Mimikyu, yep. Oh, it doesn't even KO. Yo, CJ, how you doing? And yeah, we finally back, and I'm going to be streaming so much. And a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, too. I really want to do some more Yu-Gi-Oh. Even though my deck is incomplete. <laughs> but you know, a little invoked action, maybe some Cyber Dragons on my alt account, yo. Maybe even try Brigades if I finish that on my ult. I did set up an ult before I left for like two weeks. <laughs> but I haven't played the game since, so it was kinda... I kinda didn't get any value out of it, you know? No value out of that at all, at all. A mastered virtual world? Yo! Huge. Huge, huge, huge. We need a duel? Yo. <laughs> You'd probably kick my ass, honestly, right now. 
ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I'm down though, I'm down. Okay, the EQ. <laughs> I really don't like the fact that he's EQ. <laughs> but maybe it worked. Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, it stops the darkness. <laughs> okay. I think Gastro this quick's yawn though, and this is kind of over. Yeah, there's Kali Ice, there's Cart. That's why I kind of like Safeguard on Mimikyu. So you can just quick Safeguard on a dead turn, and then your Mimikyu sets up your Kali Ice in the back, you can't get yawned anymore. But like this though, Gastro this yawns, dude. This is a respectable little yawn right now. Fall off those since I got into VGC again? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's really it's really worth it in a yawn environment. Oh, Masters and Unite? Same. Because Nino asked me to work with his team, and I've literally not done anything. <laughs> I, this had to go for a week, so I was like, ah. But we'll get on to the Unite grind, we'll get on to the Unite grind as well. Oh, laggers? Any lag? <laughs> that always scares me when it just lags a little. I'm like, oh god, am I dropping frames? Oh. <laughs> but no, we're good, we're good. Yeah, there's the Dynamax. Ah, oh, but Gastrodon is so scary. So it's probably going to be a Max Ice and the Veltal and this Leaf White, I imagine. Okay, I didn't actually look at the turn. <laughs> Even though I have full power to do that, I did not do it. Yeah, there's the Yawn. Uh -oh. Hailstorm, the Veltal. The Zacian in the back is just going to protect, though. By this next turn, Zacian protects. How do you win off of that? Well, I guess you're going to get chip with the quake though you're gonna get chip with the quake before you go to sleep you just have to hope that's enough to put him in, like smart strike range because you still have enough turns of trick room which it won't be but hey you could hmm, you are plus one i guess so reflect doesn't matter anymore but you're not doing 50 percent with a max quake to the sub so you have to hope for a crit or like low sleep turns i guess and a sagian with no sacred sword if Zacian doesn't have a fighting move here, then there's still a pretty good chance you win. Actually, Grim, foul play. <laughs> Does he still have Grim? Okay, no. But yeah, he's gonna kick quick protect here. 100% quicking protect here, but you can't do anything about it. Just quick your smart strike, go through the turn. Yep, protect. Does it have a fighting move? We saw earlier it had play rough. Yeah, that's no damage. Reflect still up, too powerful. Yeah, fighting move will win the game here. TR's down. Quaker. Okay. Smart strike. Lag. <laughs> nice. Yeah, sacred sword. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Cowie's a sweep, of course. Now Zacian's is going to quick Behemoth Blade and end the game. If Protect does nothing for you there. I don't agree with clicking it. And yeah, you're asleep anyways. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, the Behemoth Blade kills. Yep. It 
Nibs unfortunately loses the set. All right, all right. Yeah, let's see how the bracket is doing right now, boys. Oh! How, why did it take battle? <laughs> okay, they finally did this. That's actually kind of goaded. So there's so many matches left. None of them are streaming, though. None of them are streaming. Unfortunate. But why did... I didn't mean to click that. But yeah, none of them are streaming. Unfortunately. Finally, finally. Yeah, for real. I think they thus added it. Because I got... The minute I logged on the Battlefly, they are like, Hey, we changed some shit because you complained about our platform, guys. <laughs> yeah, let me get it, let me get it. Because we might as well look at that, I guess. Like, what are we... This now. I got this message when I went on Battlefy. So let's look at the Battlefy patch notes. <laughs> A notification sound when new matches. Wow. Muted. <laughs> Actually muted. New features. Match chat. Now listen. Timestamp when a player or team checks into the match. Good. Pending teams, no longer count on the team registered count. Also good. Admins now cannot change match level scores if game level scores have been input. I don't know what they mean by that. I do not know what they mean by that. That scares me a bit. Because something admins used to do that they can't do anymore. And that kind of worries me. That does kind of worry me. Yo, big hero. <laughs> yeah, we'll look at your pace real quick, though. Yo, Kieran White, Station, Rotom, Lando, Wim, Instant. I think in general, in general, in general, I think Kira is starved for Dynamax, generally. So I don't know how much I actually like Lando here. Because Lando is another mod, I feel like if you're not Dynamaxing it, and you can't really afford to Dynamax it, it can be a little raw. But it is an interesting choice. I don't mind it too much, honestly. Or then it's notably a little interference for Kira. But I think a way you can help it is this swap. I don't know if Rotom Heat's actually the move. I think if you go like Ndidi, or if you go Amoongus. Oh, you placed uh, Rotom with Lucky. Uh, that's fair, that's fair. Hmm. In that case, in that case. Well, I think Aleki actually likes the Dynamax as well. Aleki does like the Dynamax as well. Ima imagine it's Magnet too. Hmm. Regular like Sash and go like Eject Button shenanigans. I think it's important to say the team I had with this, I had Thunderous over the Rotom Heat, and I had Ndidi over Lando. And I felt like that was pretty decent. So that's kind of my mindset with it, having Kirin with Redirection with Zacian. Kind of similar to the Palkia team, in a way, but you have a Kirin that does so much more damage. <laughs> what if it's an Ogre team? Hmm. I mean, if it's an Ogre team, you get, get rid of the Zacian, add on the Lucky, it's an Ogre team. <laughs> you don't really gotta do anything crazy with it. Though I still question Lando. Even if it was an ogre team. <laughs> Can I have Kiron? Oh, you you're talking about Olsen Olsen. You're talking about Gamer the Kiron. It's kinda rude. <laughs> it's kinda disrespectful and I don't appreciate that on my channel. That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay. The game of the Zacian. I like you. I like you. Good man. <laughs> oh, okay.
Oh, versus Thundi. Thundi for Zacian. Okay, okay. My ability to read chat is kind of scuffed right now because I didn't charge my phone. <laughs> Yo, Catfishy. Okay, voice of lucky. Yeah, that's a good point. Thundi, AV versus Inzacian together. Hmm. I think with Aleki, you kind of can brute force it with Kiram, right? Let's go Kiram, Aleki, and then you can E webs and you can kill one. But then Thunzacian lead, right? Uh, that's still pretty annoying. Hmm. But yeah, in general, I think Rohit's meh. Lando's probably switchable. Like, you could go, you could go. Hmm. And DD, like I said earlier, is an option. Clefairy, even. Redirection is always pretty good with this kind of stuff. Oh, you could even have your own Thunderous Incarnate here over the Rhone Swat. It's also a little Dynamax heavy. But it goes better with the Zacian mode, so it's a little fine. And then you can replace the other swap with like a Gastrodon as an endgame. Then I think that would work a little bit. But yeah, let's see what the other stuff they've done so far. God bless this. <laughs> that makes it so much easier for me. And yeah, no problem, no problem. Swiss Rockets now have an option to show incomplete matches only. Huge, 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 huge. As an organizer, you can now choose to display seed numbers on Swiss and round robin brackets the same way. Good. Good, good, good. Those are all good things. It's fine. Yeah, that's everything. The help center navigate. So basically, the important stuff is the timestamps on match chat when someone checks in. Because, like, there's a thing with tournament organizers. You don't know if someone actually, like, showed up to their match and when they showed up. You only know when they actually say whatever they say first. So that makes things a lot more simple in knowing when you actually have to DQ someone. Because if someone types in chat, like, one minute late for a game loss, you just have to give them a game loss, even if they were there in that chat. So that does help things out a little bit, and especially if someone just doesn't say hi for whatever reason. <laughs> so there's a really good chance of the TL. But yeah, it's interesting. The minute that every VGC player is like, ah, screw this website, all of a sudden, they start fixing it. <laughs> the battle pe by people have learned. Go to Durant Legend. <laughs> yeah, we got one more game left. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we got a lot more games left, huh? <laughs> a lot more games left, a lot more games left. Okay, you gotta look at the screen now. Screw you guys. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to find another match. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of League of Legends tours. But I don't think League of Legends people are, like, leaving the website for anything. If I go on, like, Battlefly, like, right now. League of Legends. They're still fine. <laughs> They're still fine. In the future, 177 League of Legends events. So I think they're doing pretty fine on that still. Surprise we're over 50 for this tour? Well, it has a good prize and it's free entry. Though it is like kind of going to go to Demon Hours, right? That's the only uh, oral casualty to it. Because it's so late in the day. But otherwise it's a pretty good tour setup. Because personally, I think 6 p.m. is a little late. Unless you're playing in a Japanese-only tour. Then there's never too late. <laughs> I'll play Terror Run at Demon Hours. I don't care. Which, by the way, did they announce a new Terror Run tournament? <laughs> That's the one thing I want to check real quick.
Because they have a new Terra on tournaments, it's kind of huge. Um, Teru Gift. Alright, alright. Nothing. This is very tragic. I'll check their Tonamal though, why not? I know they had an Invitational this month, so that might be why. But I want to see like February though. So the last tournament was the December 10th one we entered and then we lost the last round after playing like 9 hours. <laughs> it was one of our longest streams ever. Yeah, last tour December 11th and then the Invitational in January. Which means we should be getting a new one in a couple weeks, because these tend to be on like the 20th. So we're not too far off and we'll tear on action. Which is when the format will really have started, that's all I'm saying. I had the Caesar on my brother's flight. Wait, three. <laughs> three rows ahead of him. Oh, Christ. I can't imagine that, honestly. Kind of the last time I've had a experience someone have like a Caesar near me was when I worked at McDonald's. It was one of the most terrifying experiences ever. And I can't imagine what it was like for them. Because <laughs> even that's witnessing it. Oh, God. Not a pleasant memory. And then to have that happen on an airplane. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which I wouldn't have explained this if I didn't like verbally react to it. <laughs> but since I did it, I'll explain it. But yes, that is not a pleasant thought. That is not a pleasant thought at all. But yeah, another news though. One game left, Alex VGC versus Faux. I have no clue who Faux is, but cool, cool, cool. I wonder who Alex VGC is, because there's a lot of Alexes. <laughs> I feel like almost everyone who's named Alex in this community also has like Alex in their VGC tag. Like Alex123, Alex VGC. <laughs> Which I don't know about you, but those are kind of similar. <laughs> those are kind of similar. I think that's like the only name that someone just actively does that for. Like there's no Nathan VGC or anything. Okay, yeah, I probably should take it. <laughs> Maybe we do a yoink and I will become the only Nathan. We claim the title. <laughs> this one match is going to be the death and oh they weren't even here <laughs> they weren't even here man okay round two is starting soon <laughs> Round two is starting soon. My guy weren't even here, bro. Okay, we got me, Marco, B Smithy, Justin. How many rounds? I should check that real quick. Six. Okay. 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 Shouldn't take them too long. Oh, they double dropped them. This will boink. They're gone. 
No more Alex VGC in this tournament. Skippers. Skippers. <laughs> I think that's the first track to actually just skipped on NJs. <laughs> I wonder what NJ feels about that. Turn to charisma. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, we've been live for like an hour 20. <laughs> we've only got through one round. Kind of scary. <laughs> so if we go by that logic there, right? An hour for every round. It would be 8, 9, 10, 11. We'll be done by midnight. Cool. Probably around like 1 a.m. honestly. Which, uh, you know, crazy to have the first stream back. I'm just going to 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, true. But this one was like an hour 20, though. So even taking out 20 minutes is still like an hour each. But they'll probably adapt anyways. Actually, no, it's only an hour 8 minutes. But yeah, either way, it's probably somewhere around 12 that we finish this tournament. It's a good old midnight action, you yeah. know. It's midnight gaming. This may change my plan of what I want to do after. <laughs> which, speaking of which, the capture card I got that I borrowed from my sister, there's like too much delay on it. So even though the audio works, which is great, I don't think I can actually play like Legends of Arceus on it. That's the main reason I uh, got it. <laughs> so I might have to get a new capture card. Cause I do want to play Legends of Arts or this uh, deal with the delay for a bit. I don't know. Cause like the delay is pretty bad. <laughs> but I do want to play Legends of Arceus with sound though. So it's a little, a little bit of a pickle that I put myself in, if you will. But yeah, I'm probably gonna try to stream it with the with the horrible <laughs> input lag and let's see if it's okay. <laughs> If I can deal with it. If not, then I may not stream Legends of Arceus. And just do it casually, I guess. Which I've already done. I've, I got through the main story without you guys. And I don't regret it. <laughs> don't regret it even a small bit. But I wanted to at least like, do the post game and like shiny hunt stuff. But we'll see, we'll see. Shiny hunting with input delay sounds pretty funny. Yeah, it is a little pricey. Oh god, it is. I technically do have no. <laughs> I'll probably just go like the HD 60s or something. If I got Ogata. Actually, how much is like Aver Media? Aver Media one. Because of the shot, I just say screw it and get another Chinese capture card again. <laughs> okay, it's like a hundred. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I think I may just get another one of the video capture cheap ones instead of getting a permanent solution for now. Which is what I'm using right now, but somehow the audio got fucked on it and I can't use it anymore. <laughs> so it's a little sag. But at least it still gets the gameplay and it is what inspired me to actually play music. So you know, it's, it's a good, it's a pretty good thing. It's a pretty good thing. Okay, round two is up, boys. Seven sixteen. Okay. Okay, we're playing Michael. I think that's the guy who's streaming the tournament. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the guy who's streaming the tournament. Yeah, whatever though. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure 
I'll send you guys over there if you want to see their perspective and see if it's actually that person. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's them. And I don't know if I actually typed it right. <laughs> but I don't, I'm not worried too much about that. We are not too worried. Alright. No response shit. No response. Kind of cringe. <laughs> okay, they're searching now. There we go. Alright. I will decide, we will decide. <laughs> My phone fell. <laughs> I can bulk up shenanigan him. <laughs> That's really all I want to do today. I want someone to get beat by bulk up. And only because I have bulk up. No other reason. Hmm. <laughs> I see an opportunity. Then we go instant P2. We'll growl on back. Asian back as well. We could have Binu back too, actually. I don't think it's worth it because we have Poirot himself. We can do a fair bit of chip to the end game mods. But I think like bulk up Groudon kind of wins <laughs> the end game. I don't think there's a way that they can break the Groudon here. Our Groudon, that is. Well, I guess they have Swords Dance on Landers. As an option, but I don't, I don't think I have to worry about that option too highly. Oh, well, they're going it. <laughs> they are, in fact, going for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna pardon shot turn one into Lando. See what happens. They can quake me, I'll deal with it. We're in piss, so we're gonna be able to live that at minus one. Oh, we get Prankster. <laughs> Prankster P2 is always a funny scenario. 
So yeah, I'm gonna Trick Room here. I'm just gonna Barn Shot. I could fake out Grimmsnarl, but I don't really care, and if he gets a Reflect up early, that's actually kind of better for me. Because I'm not doing any damage this turn, so going for Reflect... Uh, he goes for a T-Wave, because he's toxic. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's probably Swords Dance, I imagine, then. Yeah, Swords Dance. Get our Parting Shot down. Grab on. Hopefully we do get the Trick Room up, because it would be so annoying if we don't. <laughs> it would actually be so annoying. Yeah, we get our Groudon's Drought going. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. So now I'm just going to Foul Play here, and just bulk up. He could be Reflect, and I'm fine with that. Oh, he could be Trick, actually. No, he's just going to switch out this turn. Okay. He could still be Trick. <laughs> no, he is Reflect. That's fine. Gastron's in, but it's not too big of a deal. And we get our bulk up. Our Groudon is slowly becoming indomitable. I will Eerie Impulse, Gastrodon, Blades, maybe we bulk up again, we get Parod, it's fine, probably no Yawn, okay, Spirit Break actually, I do want to get one Eerie Impulse off onto this Gastrodon. I really want to get one Eerie Impulse off, and I'm happy with this scenario. Yeah, I'm going to Eerie Impulse Gastro here. And Blades. Let's see, though. He's probably going to switch out on the Lando, I imagine. But, like, eh. Maybe I could have Rock Slided, but... No, he doesn't switch. But we do get a Blades off. Now this Gastrodon's doing like no damage. <laughs> yep. Spear break, sure. Plus two press of blades. Yo. Big chip. <laughs> it does reveal the lefties. We reveal our own lefties. Oh, I'm going to Eerie Impulse Gastrodon again and just have it at minus four. I think now's the point where I just quick rock slide. We don't get a like wake up this turn, obviously, but we just quick rock slide for the turn that Lando. Yeah, Lando's here. Oh, you have Veltol's here. So yeah, we're quick and rock slide. I'm chilling. Eerie Impulse. Recover. It's fine. And his foul play doesn't really change the scenario. <laughs> it does not. Yeah, he's minus four. And now I'm going to Eerie Impulse the Veltal. Ah! I actually don't have to, I can just foul play if I want to. But I feel like Iria pulsing your Veltal is a little bit better in this rock sliding. Hopefully we don't get parried. He's probably just going to foul play though, but foul play is a little weakened at this point. So I'm not too concerned by it. I do hope I wake up though. A wake up right now would be pretty huge. Yeah, he goes Grim. Para. Okay. Not too big of a deal. Foul play goes out on the Groudon. Decent amount of chip. And we do wake up though. Oh, 
But I think the most interesting thing about that turn is that Yveltal is painfully slow. Oh, the Trick Room is down. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, we can Trick Room again against Rockfall. Yeah, Yveltal. And that will kill the Grimmsnarl with the chip too. I'll play. Doesn't KO. We just get the rock full. Yavel is gone. We're already in a really good position off of this. Because Grim is going down too. Especially if we get the trick room up. I'm really happy with this scenario. But yeah, Lando's gonna come back in. Spear break goes off. It's fine. Trick room. the Gastro, and there's the Lando. I think I have this Eerie Impulse Gastro, and I go for a Max Guard here. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Four, okay. So I'm just gonna Max Guard, and see what he wants to do here. If he maxes Gastro, that is ridiculously good for us. <laughs> He goes for a Swords Dance, it's not good for him either because we have Foul Play. Yeah, is this maxing? Is this probably going to be a Landorus max, I imagine? No Gastro, okay. So we get an Eerie Impulse down. It does make me wonder if he's clicking Fly here. Because we max Guard. Yeah, we get our Eerie Impulse, that's perfect. If he quicks SD, that's really good for us, I think. If yeah, there's a Hellstorm, we don't care. Rock Slide, okay. Yeah, we got this game basically in the bag now. This is Rockfall, and we just foul play, and we're just good. The bulk of Groudon clutched this so hard. The unstoppable bulk of Groudon. You love to see it. <laughs> yeah, there's a Hailstorm. It won't KO. Never KO the goat with that pity move. That pitiful move. But yeah, we rockfall. Nice. We're plus one. Go to the pear chunk. Yeah, oh, there's the swords dance. <laughs> He's finally going for the SD. Sand chip, alright. We get all left, he going. Yeah, this game is pretty fairly in our bags right now. Not much to worry about. I'm going to foul play the Lando here. How many turns of Trick Room? Two. Okay. I'm going to Incent.
<laughs> no paras, no whammies. <laughs> yep, foul play. Hellstorm. I do want him to forfeit, <laughs> to be honest. Like, we do win no matter what happens here, but... It is just gonna be a little boring to not reveal more information. I will reveal Parting Shot anyways. Yeah, I'll reveal Parting Shot anyways. And just go for an Eerie Impulse Parting Shot on it. This is the last turn of Trick Room. He cancels. Thank you. <laughs> I just really don't want to bring my backbone out right there. Dude, this feels a little unnecessary. But yo, we on the game too. We on the game too. After this match, I'm gonna check if it was actually WT Michael. I shouted them out, but I genuinely don't know. <laughs> we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I don't know who else it would be. Papa. I'm just gonna go instant PT again. Grab him back. I don't see a reason to adjust anything. Oh, well, I could go Venu this time, right? Because he was so hard to annoy Gastro. That might be a fair adjustment, and we can just have Weather Ball for the endgame. But then again, he has so many big flying types too, so it's a little scary to go Venu. We have Weather Ball though. Venu, P2 Ensign, Groudon. Could you also go Venu, Groudon, P2, and a lead? I'm gonna try that this game. And have Ensign, Groudon back. I know it's risky because I said the flying types, but if you guys want the flying types, then I can get Trick Room. So it's not all bad. I can also get Sweet Powder out on the Uveltal, so it would have to be like Lando to really scare me. Alright, let's see. Lando? Rim's Asian, okay. I will, in fact, deal with that. Trace, Prankster? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to Trick Room, going to Groudon. I could also Trick Room go into Ensign, but I feel like this wasting. Okay, I can just get bulk ups going now. And I think it's pretty important to show Venu in this early game. The Scaro Gastrodon a little bit. Yeah, T Wave into PQ again. What an annoying guy. <laughs> yeah, Sacred Sword. We all know what he's going for. And he gets the crit too. Trick room. Thank you. That is not an optimal start though. But it doesn't change my scenario though. We're gonna recover and we're gonna bulk up. Let's see what the Zacian wants to do here. I imagine he switches Lando in or Gastro in. Your Veltal, okay. I think that's fine for me. I'm just gonna get my recovers down. Yep. 
He did delay the reflect a little bit, which was pretty smart. Oh no, he went for a reflect there. I forgot I copied Prankster. <laughs> yeah, bulk ups down. Yeah, I'm just gonna foul play Rockfall that. It could be silly if he goes like Gastron right now, but I think I'm okay with it. And he, it does confirm he has the Dynamax here. Or this take a plus one Rockfall. Well, I guess like a neutral Rockfall because of Reflect, but it's still a decent chunk. And that also means the foul play is doing next to nothing to you, so. <laughs> He does Dynamax, okay. There is the Dynamax. It's important because I copied the Prankster, we can't Yuri Impulse. This is part of why I wanted to take the initiative there. Yeah, we foul play, it's barely anything, but any chip helps. Yeah, there's a spear break on a P2. I do wonder if this is a P2 double up. That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, we rock fall. Yeah, nothing. Whew. Airstream, actually. Okay. And Groudon. Fair chunk. in here max guard I'm trying to go for a four voice rock ball on this next turn into your belt hole and see if I'll just KO it and also it stops a uh, max darkness and Grimstone being alive is pretty decent for P2 too so it's not all neg Oh, he withdraws Grimstraw into Landorus. Station, okay. Yeah, there's the darkness. Let's see. I will forward blitz Rockfall that slot anyways, even though I think this Yuval will switch into Lando. No switch. Okay, perfect. So we're just gonna get a double up, and I believe this will kill. Even do the Dynamax and Reflect. Yeah, forward blitz. Decent chip. Hopefully it's enough. If it's enough, I think we kinda have the game now. But we'll see. Rockfall? Yes, perfect. Perfect, dude, perfect. Yeah, your vettel has gone, and our Groudon's still here. <laughs> and he's bulked up for the party. I want to trace the Lando in Tim if he has it in the back. Zapdos, okay.
guy. It could be a sub though, which is a little annoying, but... Not oh, this beam boy, that's fine. Thunderbolt? No, Hurricane. He needs to hit a hurricane in order to have a chance to come back into this game now. Okay, there's the blade. And the Groudon? Yeah, okay. If he hits this hurricane, it's a little annoying. And he does. Oh. Ugh. Life orb, okay. That is a little bit annoying for us, I'll say that much. Static, okay. So we can pair the Zacian with our static. <laughs> Station. He's just gonna thunderbolt the PQ, I guess. Oh, hurricane, and he hits again. <laughs> That's kind of cries, dude. <laughs> There's no reason to hurricane there. Though even with the loss this game too. I'm still like kind of okay with that scenario, right? Cause I get a show that I brought Venusaur this game, which is pretty important. Oh, sweet Potter, Zapdos. Yeah, there's a Sacred Sword. Double up an Ensign, right? And also interesting, the Life Orb Zapdos too. Hurricane. He's late. <laughs> These hurricanes, dude. What the heck? We met and we miss. Ah, ha, ha. Dude, that's kind of insane. He's three for three on hurricanes. But yeah, we forfeit. That's some important info for the next game, though. Life Orb Zapdos, and he's really good at hanging hurricanes. <laughs> He could have thunderbolted on any of those kills, and he would have got it. And if he didn't KO a P2 there because of the hurricane, he actually loses. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a little interesting. But yeah, he got it, he got it. I also go Thun Groudon, that would be pretty crazy. But no. We'll go P2. Incent. Groudon. Satian. This is still pretty hard for him to deal with, like, bulk up in an endgame, I think. So I'm kind of fine with this doing this again. Especially with Zacian back. I think Zacian was always a more effective back. And now that I'm scaring Gastro off, eh, by just showing that I'd be new that last game. So I think he's probably going to go the same thing he went game two. Which is fine by me. 
see. Oh, Zaytje and Lando this game. I'm still kind of okay with that. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Like, the double up is never killing me. And we could get an Intimidate off of this Trace, too. Can we get the Intim off of Trace? This is kind of nuts. <laughs> we'll see. Don't give me Interpret Sword. Yes. Okay. He's minus two Lando. <laughs> and he's minus one Zacian. So I'm just going to Trick Room and this parring shot Landorus. Because Landorus is probably going to try the Swords Dance or Switch. Yeah. And two Grimstorm. Okay. Fine by me. <laughs> yeah, Zacian protects here actually. And now I can start going for bulk ups. And he's probably going to switch out his Zacian into Landorus, I imagine. So we can just go for a foul play into the Zacian spot and start getting our bulk ups going. And start the train. <laughs> if he stays in with Zacian, it doesn't matter, he's minus one. So this is already like a pretty good position for this. Yeah, we foul play the Zacian slot. This is bulk up. Also notable, we didn't have to get Prankster. So if he goes into what you that old, then we're still fine. But he is staying in. I, I don't understand it, but we are gonna get the bulk up. This could be a substitute, I guess. But like I don't think the substitute really accomplishes much for you here. No, this is a beam of blade. He's probably going for a critical hit, I imagine. Can you crowd on? Yeah. But yeah, there's no damage. I will just foul play again, and I will bulk up again. It'll be interesting to see how my opponent tries to break this now. Landorus again. Okay, this is an Intimidate. So I have neutral. And the Reflect is up. Yeah, we're gonna get a foul play in the Lando. It'll do a little bit. Not too much, because of the Reflect again. Yeah, there's a T-Wave. Get another bulk up going. <laughs> All right, the lefties. <laughs> Are we turns the trick room two? Okay. You foul play rock slide this turn. Yeah, he withdraws Grimmsnarl into what, though? Into what? Zapdos? Um, I don't know about going to Zapdos there. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, yeah, we get the Rock Slide. Lando goes down. <laughs> Like, that's so bad for my opponent, because I can just quick Quake for the rest of the game. <laughs> I actually just quick Quake for the rest of the game, and I Eerie Impulse is Aptos this turn. Like, there's genuinely nothing scaring me at this point. And PT is going to be getting boost, too. He, the only thing that can happen here is he gets a crit, but even then, it's not, like, too consequential. So I'm just going to Quake Zacian. Yeah, that's the power of bulk of Groudon, baby. Just kind of bulking up on him. Yo. 
little flexion, a little flexing rally here. Yeah, we just go for the quake. Zation's dead. We chill and we chill. In. Yeah, there's the max. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's probably a max guard turn, I guess. But like nothing is really saving you if you're my opponent right now. There's not a thing in the world. Yeah, Zapdos gets the max off. Yeah, there's the max guard. Very inconsequential though. Through this quaking the Zacian. Zacian's gone. Now it's this Grimmsnarl Zapdos versus all my mons at full HP in a paired PQ. Yeah, there's Grim again. Oh. All this Yuri Impulse. There's the airstream and the Groudon. It does nothing though. <laughs> like, actually nothing. Yep. Spirit break. Cool, cool, cool. All right. <laughs> the eerie impulse. Yeah, we get the lefties again. Let's go! Let's go, boys! A little bulk up Groudon going in clutch. Insane. Yeah, nice little 2 0. Nice little 2 0 start to the tournament. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see that one. There's only four more rounds left. Also, we should be able to play our match right now for USPA versus Frenderman. Yeah, we're gonna have a little, a little showdown action, you know. But we're going to be playing our USPA game right now, I think. <laughs> A little USPA action, huge. We're playing the Washington era versus Frenderman. Yo. Whatever he gets on, <laughs> it'll, it'll be a little, it'll be a little corny if he takes a, <laughs> takes a little too long. Yeah, yeah.
Pause chat. <laughs> Do you have another text thing, by the way? Let's just set one up. There we go. It's a different font, but who cares? No one else will notice. <laughs> oh, wait. I do. Already have one. Erm. Streamer moment. <laughs> eh. Hardworking streamer. Yo, Michael, thank you for the follow. Because, by the way, where did I actually play you last round? <laughs> I did shout you out, but I had no clue if it was actually you or not. Well, I kind of did. I assumed it was because it's Michael. I don't know who else are the Michaels in this community. How we doing? How we doing? Yo. Yeah, we're gonna be playing our USPA match in a second. My opponent appears to be Chad and Google Chatter. Oh. <laughs> Look at the boulder. Insane. <laughs> Should be any moment now. Let's see if he's on. Yo! Yo, we insane. Okay. Oh, dialogue is stuff. Alright. I think I'm okay with that. I do think I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're just using the NJ team for this game, real quick. through though. Hmm. Just get this guy on the side. You'll be able to see it. We exile this real quick. Let's go. So is this Dialga stuff, huh? Gold Dialga stuff. Hmm. I think Gastro is really good here, but I'm not going to bring a game one. Let's play off of that first. Yeah, there's Zapdos. Okay. That's fine. Probably gonna be an airstream into me. So I decide do I care <laughs> or not about the airstream. 
I'm gonna go with, eh, we'll be fine. Now we can just Thunderbolt Azure Garage and we'll be okay. Well, I guess I should, uh, Eerie Impulse anyways, in case he doesn't fake out for whatever reason. But yeah, he fakes out, it's fine. Is it a Lightning to Thunderous? It won't KO, but it's probably just an Airstream, if I had to guess. Yeah, there's the Airstream into Calyrex. Free Impulse. Get Groudon in. It's probably going to Airstream again. Yep. This is this a parting shot now? Could be a parting shot. No, this avoids. Okay. Hmm. I think I Quake and go for an Eerie Impulse. Quake switch. Or this void switch. Ah. If you won't kill, it might be worth the side Calyrex here. Because there's probably Rillaboom in the back. Here, there's the Airstream. Well, I guess you could Flare Boys the Groudon. That would be a little annoying. Yeah, he does. But we don't die. But we get burned. <laughs> we do get the kill though. Mm. Not really optimal. Yo, we do lose game one. I should have this broadcast around the back anyways. There's no point in not doing it. I just scared myself off the Rillaboom, but we have like three fire types. There was not much merit. Not much merit. Let's see, yeah, we protect. Yeah, there's a T bolt, it's too fast. Um yeah, spout. Okay. I think I actually wildfire the Zapdos. Yeah, this game's pretty locked down at this point. Not too much I can do. Not too much I can do. Yeah, glide. Cool. But it doesn't really mean too much. Ain't weather ball too. At least weather ball. And con overgrowth. <laughs> There's a glide. There's nothing. We're not gonna get a kill though. Oh, he's scarf. Good to know. That's a lot of information. Do you go thun to get? I'm gonna play this a little bit differently now. Let's go like Thun Gastro. Cowie. Grab on back, I think. Hmm.
Maybe Thun, Groudon, Cowie with Gastro back and try to bait, bait a Weather Ball in the early game and try to play off that. Mm. A little annoying, a little annoying. Okay, the same stuff. So it's probably gonna be a fake out or a weather ball switch in. I'll cover both here. Okay. Oh, you just want me to get the eerie impulse. <laughs> Gastro. I wonder if you would wet my uh, Gastrodon go to plus two here. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny. It is a Scarf Kyogre, which is pretty important to know. We'll see what it wants to do here. Either way, Thunders will live the turn, and you shouldn't be able to KO me Barkrits. So overall, this is a pretty solid start. This could be a Rillaboom switch in, honestly. And just get rid of your Zapdos, because it's kind of already off to a pretty bad spot. Or you double Thund. It's one of those two. Yeah, there's a Spout. Yep. Airstream. Okay. Decent chip. Decent chip. So now the question is, who do we think would switch here the most? I kind of feel like Kyogre is the most likely to switch, to be honest with you. Yep, okay, perfect. Get yeah, Thunder Wave and Ice Beam. There's a Lightning, that's fine though. And importantly though, he loses Grassy Terrain. Switch out to Calyrex. No Zapdos switch. Okay, that's good. There's the T-Bolt though, but it's fine. And now I think he's gonna switch his... I think I should conserve Gastro better though. Mm. Oh, Shy Shock and this going to fun. Oh, he goes Kyogre, that's fine. He does get a Hurricane off, but it's not too big of a deal. Not too big of a deal. I'm just gonna Barrage in this Quake here. The Kyogre. Yeah, there's Incin. There's Incin. He has Scarf Kyogre though. Hmm. But we do have a Spadef boost and he's minus two. Okay, he goes Rilla, that's fine. That is fine. In that case, I think I can just Barrage Rock Fall. Because uh, they'll never be able to kill the Groudon here. So this just works out perfectly for us. Yeah, there's the Thunderbolt. It gets a crit, which is very annoying. But still this Gastro on the back here. Ugh, doesn't KO. Woodhammer does a decent chunk, and he kills himself. Nice. Now we got like, Grassy Terrain going for our Gastrodon. He has Scar. So I think we actually had the luxury to this Earth Power. I'll yawn anyways, and this rock full is up to us. Uh, 
There's a hurricane ice beam. Yeah. Kills with a crit. Hmm. Yeah, we protect here. We chillin'. We do be chillin'. I think I'm just gonna go for the kill on Zapdos. Mainly, it is minus two, but it's still clicking Hurricane, and this a Hurricane Confusion is pretty annoying. He does predict it, that's fine. This is more recovery. I will go for another Ice Beam into it. Let's hope he doesn't wake up this turn, I guess. Yeah, Hurricane. Oh my god, the Confusion. And the wake up first turn. Oh my god! Well, <laughs> never mind. Oh, GG, lol. Oh, GG. GG, GG. <laughs> sure. Ba, 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 da. I was pretty unlucky. But we are on to our next match, anyways, so it's fine. I do kind of deserve that, because I disrespected him and went ga and didn't go Gastro game 1, even though it was so easy to go Gastro there. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, James. I don't know. This is actually psychotic endgame. Yeah, now on to round 3. And we're playing dot one Q for round three. So I don't know who's spamming my DM, <laughs> so I'm Joe's team. Well, it's fucking weird. <laughs> it is kind of weird. Like during that whole, <laughs> the last like hour or so, the guys are spamming me about the most random stuff. I don't even know who he is. Kind of crazy, kind of crazy. But yeah, we'll get on into this game though. Well, dot one Q action, yo. Okay, Kali Shadow Kyogre. Hmm. I think he's gonna lead like Indeedee Calyrex, honestly. Let's go from there. So in that case, I think it's P2 crowd on. So I think I can P2 Zacian. With like Groudon in the back. Insane. Or Venu back. I'll probably play it like this anyways. Well, I guess it could also be Kyogre Torn as a lead. Maybe it's just better to have Groudon on the lead and just go like instant back. Zacian? We are sass Venu though. Is either that or Venu P2 as a lead? Which is also pretty appealing, but I feel like there's a high chance to just go like Indeedee Calyrex and try to beat me like that. Yeah, we'll try this though. I imagine it's this Kali Shadow, indeedy. If I had a guess though. We'll see right now. Yep, Kali Shadow, indeedy. 
and it's female in DD2, so no imprison shenanigans, unless the other Calyrex has it. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I think I'm okay to this quick trick room. Or I go into like instant trick room, either or. Actually, I'm gonna go hard instant here. This boy will gamble in these blades. Oh, I guess I actually quake, no matter what. Max Psychic into PQ, yes. Yeah, okay. If that's a max psychic into P2, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Actually. Cause now we're gonna be plus ones for death too. Yo, perfect turn. <laughs> okay, there's a helping hand. Nice. Nice. That was a really good turn one. It's so annoying because Kyogre is going to be in the back. So, we'll just be Kyogre chilling. Yeah, we could Quake. Citrus Berry. This could be a max guard from the Cataracts here. And it's like a follow me. Should max guard here. This is what your mon go down. We'll try it. I think you follow me, force the Ndidi to go on, go to Kyogre, and try to beat me like that. That's why I'm taking the initiative here and it's going for the beam. Well, maybe I should have attacked the Ndidi anyways here. Oh, he just helping hands. Okay. Quake. Yeah. Okay. What an annoying guy. That's dead. Yo, actually, so true. Little black white visor there. Oh, okay, he's Max Quake. We know that now. <laughs> and he's gonna get the boost. Plus one instant, in fact, not good enough. Crazy. We'll have to sag P2 here. Let's go Leaf Storm in, in DD. Okay, he's Quake. Go Psychic. Good enough for the future. Can we get this race? Does not matter. Yeah, follow me. I wonder who he targets. If he targets Venu, we still have a chance. Or if he goes for a map, ah, it doesn't even kill. It doesn't even kill, dude. This is my storm, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Is 
this is gonna be a double KO right now. Yeah, helping hand. I still think I have to respect the helping hand though. <laughs> okay, follow me again. Cool. Sag. Yeah, there's the expanding force. I had no option other than sweet powder there though. Cause then he just kills me. So yeah, this pretty much guarantees the loss now I think. Oh at least we still have Groudon full HP, right? Let's go Groudon. Huge. <laughs> what? Hmm. Is there any Well Single target blades is pretty good. <laughs> I believe in the single target blades. Okay, protects. That's fine by me. We're gonna have to get like a crit press of blades into the counter X <laughs> in order to win this game. Maybe like a double crit, you know? <laughs> a quirky little double crit right here. We go for an eerie impulse. Actually, I think I go for the rock slide flinch, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'll go for the rock slide flinch. And like, Fall Boy Calyrex. I think that's like slightly better odds for us to win this game. Yeah, we Fall Play. Yeah, it does nothing. Uh, the rock slide might, might not even get the kill on the counter X we <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> oh my god. And no flinch. Ah! Uh, and he hits Origin Pulse. Ah! <laughs> Unfortunate. Honestly, though, if I click Blades and Eerie Impulse. No, counter X isn't dying. So never mind. So we definitely did need the rock slide points there. That was unfortunate though. We got like almost every turn wrong in that game. Legitimately. Cali shadow moment. I'm gonna try to go Zacian Thunderous and try to make a play off of that. With Venu back. You reveal Kyogre and DD Kyrax. If Torn's in the back, it's a little annoying, but. We did show this like hard going PT mode, so I think it might just be a Regieleki back instead. Which I think in that scenario we're probably fine.
I want to protect this because I think there's a possibility they quake here. Where are I the thunders? Let's see though. No Dynamax is fine. That do be kind of fine. Follow me, okay. Garage, all right. I am fine with that scenario. Get the airstream going. Where it'll be faster than both of his mons now. If he goes for the redirection, we should just kill him regardless. This is a foul play too. So I don't think there's a way he will live. Especially after a life orb chip. Yeah, I behemoth blade and I darkness the Calyrex here. This game's already looking pretty in our favor. Yep, Dynamax. There's no way uh, we don't kill the Ndidi though. There's no way. Even if they ally switch, I behemoth bladed that slot anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yep, follow me. Would have to be like pretty bulky Kali Shadow to live. And then I think it's still a roll, right? Well, I guess we're not max attack. That's another thing. So maybe there is a chance that they just live this. But they'll only be able to KO one of my mons, so I think that's a decent trade-off. Okay, darkness, let's see. It may not. It does. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Because we aren't too invested. We have enough, so there's a chance to KO. Especially with the Life Orb chip. We are a boy, so... But yeah, I don't see a way we lose now. <laughs> Especially because they gave up the Dynamax, but yeah, there's a Tornadus though. That's something. It's probably Scarf Kyogre. I kind of want to go Groudon, this prevent like a crit water spout from killing me. And this max lightning the Kyogre. This would be good, this would be good. Yep, cancelled, okay. Game 3. Game 3. I wonder if they just go torn over this game. It's also what I would do. <laughs> it's hard to go torn over. I'm gonna go Thun Zacian again though. Even in spite of that. Like Venu back. Or P2 back even. Hmm. I'll try P2 back. Maybe. It's P2 or Venu. Both are pretty okay. But he's going torn. Kind of mitigates Venu a fair bit. And I'm not gonna be able to Dynamax it anyways. Maybe this for the Weather Wolf scenarios in the back. Okay, I'm gonna bring P2. Maybe Venu's the play, but we'll see, we'll see.
I might be respecting the... Hmm. Yeah, okay, Kaoya and Didi again. Sure. I think I just make the same play in Airstream. Airstream protect. I think we're chilling. Though it could be a helping at max psychic, but I don't think it'll do enough here to make me not like this scenario. Yeah, there's a max. Most well, definitely a max psychic turn one. There's the helping hand. No surprise there. We should live. Yep. Okay. Perfect. The only annoying thing is I do have to blade the Ndidi now. Because of the expanding forces, I just lose my mod. I don't really want that. Yep, max guard, okay. Follow me. He's probably gonna go for Torn, I guess. I don't know how that saves him though. Okay, we get the KO. Either way, we're getting one of our targets going though. He has to get like a double guard. Yeah, there's the Tornadus. No surprise there. I'm just gonna max darkness. I'm gonna be human void. The Kali Shadow. Kailwind? Yep. Phantasm. Invisation. Okay. Doesn't even get the KO. Alright. Yo, my music. Yo, the edgy persona on the PSP, insane. <laughs> yeah, we get the blade, easy KO. <laughs> the portable persona right there, huge. Yeah, we darkness. Yeah, sash. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this game looks pretty good for us, honestly. We have Groudon P2 back, unless it's like roleplay. <laughs> if he reveals the roleplay tech, uh, GG's handshake. It's like, mm. Oh, there is one thing that could happen. I could trace Drizzle. <laughs> I could, in fact, trace D Drizzle here. It would be like really bad. So I think just because of that, I might go P2 early. Uh, 
don't want to, but there's a very real chance I trace Drizzle is the thing. And that's like the worst possible scenario. Her lefties. <laughs> Trace Prankster, be a good dog. Thank you. <laughs> Olization, perfect. Spout, single target water spout, P2 be good. Cry it. <laughs> crap, dude, crap. Yeah. Hmm. The thing is, I was so scared of tracing the Skyogre for the endgame. Can you actually manipulate who you trace? And then, like, this is an idiot for not knowing that. That's, like, very possible. Because now this is a single target water spout. Oh, like, full HP. Plus, like icy wind chip, I imagine. Oh, it was rain dance. Okay, well, that's tragic. Uh, it was rain dance, dude. <laughs> no, I do deserve that though. I'll be honest. Can I mind game myself out of that by <laughs> respecting the I accidentally traced Drizzle? But I should have just dealt with it, I guess. Like, even if I don't trace Drizzle, he's still gonna get like a big, big, big damage. And PT would have at least been alive. So, yeah, that was not worth it. <laughs> that was actually the hardest choke ever. Just because I scared myself by the fact that I could trace Grizzle. <laughs> oh man, that was so dumb. The brain fart of the century. Yo, Bonnie, how you doing? How you doing? How far are we in the round, though? <laughs> I don't deserve to be 2-1 after that game. I was playing that game the way I did. Oh, that's some 0-3 type play right there. Some really 0-3 type play. Cause if he rain dances in the end game, then he can't kill P2. <laughs> so the fact that I did that, this created more scenarios where I just lose. So I guess he could still be taunt anyways, but. The three O's right now are Marco, Firo, B Smithy, and Dot, of course. So I think the only game still on right now is Nibs. I'm actually gonna unmute the battle fly pin ping. So I can hear it. Um, yeah, let's watch Nibs, why not? More Nibs action, dude. Oh, OQ. It was the only game. <laughs> it is the only game anyways. Oh, so we went like real far back in Marco's stream. There is no other option. So we will enjoy the OT match we have been given.
Actually, I kind of want the man. Hello. Perfect. <laughs> his hand. <laughs> Get a nice wall hand right there. Seismitoad Max. Gastro Grim. Well, Seismitoad can this overgrowth. <laughs> Seismitoad does this click the overgrowth button. There's no overgrowth button, is there? I don't think there's an overgrowth button. Oh, dude! There's no overgrowth button. Why is it brutal swing? Okay. Yeah, I think that actually just kind of loses it for him. Because Gastro wins. <laughs> Gastro like hard beats his team. He has Kali Eyes. But he just gets yawned. He doesn't have Safeguard on his Mimikyu. So his only answer to Gastrodon should have been the Max Grass from the Seismitoad. But it doesn't even have that. So this is not a good scenario. Yeah, Citrus Berry, okay. He clicks Yawn. I wonder if the Gastrodon would max. Well, it can't really, it's not really a good max option with Citrus Berry. Cause this is gonna get chipped down anyways. I guess that is a saving grace in a way. Yo, there's the quake. He did give him a quake in a hurricane. I don't really know about targeting Grim. But since he's the Gastro is not maxing and going for like a hellstorm or anything, the hurricane is going to do so much damage to it. So this might actually be fine. Yeah, there's the hurricane. That is a lot of damage. Ice Beam, yeah. Nice little Ice Beam right there. The thing is, that is a lot of chip on that Gastrodon, and it's, it doesn't have the ability to like, recover too much. But the good thing the Seismitoad is like no respectable way to hit it either. Because Dynamax is going to be down, I believe, this turn. Okay, lag. Crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Zacian. Uh. I think the max is down, right? Yeah, and it only has an earthquake. Okay, he clicks earthquake. Uh, I don't know about protecting. I don't think it's that necessary. Like, I think losing Torn here would have been fine. And it's more likely that Seismitoad gets targeted. Or not. I was completely wrong. <laughs> I was 100% wrong there. Yeah, I, w I couldn't have been more wrong about that situation. I was... <laughs> this is Earthquake again. You gotta go for the wake up. Gotta go for the wake up, man. You have no other option. You do tell one. Gotta wake up this turn. We'll see, we'll see. 
No, okay. Yeah, Zacian goes for a beam of blade, kills. Oh, I think I'm kind of surprised that Seismitoad is being allowed to live. Like, actually, the Seismitoad has been around so many turns now. He goes for a re yawn. So I think it's kind of pointless, but. Kyogre comes in now. You know, spouts cold thunder. So it does it gets completely walled by Gastrodon. Uh It just seems like Nibs just completely forgot about Gastrodon as a Pokemon, which honestly fair. But it's still kinda sad. I think you quick Earthquake anyways. You just have to deal with the self-chip on your Kyogre. There's not really a better option at this point. Okay, there's a Protect. Uh, Seismitoad's still asleep. Okay. Yeah, there's a Sacred Sword. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. I think you really just had to deal with the self-chip from the EQ. In the spout. And even if you lost your Kyogre there, you would have got so much chip off. So it would have been a fine trade. But now it's just like. Might be a little late. A bounce? Why are you bouncing? Aww. Yeah, this game is pretty over, I think. That bounce is really the same thing as this uh, forfeit. <laughs> like the Sacred Sword goes off, the Earth Power goes off, and it's a bounce. But now if you're the Gastrodon, you're like, oh, he kind of made this simple for me. He is not able to hit the Zacian. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Bounce goes in the Gastro, but Gastro protects or switches. It might not have protect actually, but either way, it's just a free attack for the Zacian now, and there's just nothing you can do about it. Zacian could even kill the what? <laughs> what? Huh? Why is the Zacian scared of the Bounce? You got. You got the para. If it gets a full para here, no. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, Tailwind's gone. We we'll get Cali Eyes. Kyogre. Trick. This dies to the Zacian though. I don't. He really just had to EQ his own Kyogre. And because he didn't, he just slowly lost more and more position. Until it resulted in that. If he just like EQ'd any of those turns, and like went for a water spell anyways, I think he would have been fine. Check the bracket. Still three matches left, yo. Crazy. Yeah, there's Thunder. He gets the crit. No Pharaoh. Ah. Yeah, we're five cores off. Don't protect Kyogre, there's no point in it. Thunder? Okay. 
So he's reading the Zacian to be dumb and protect. Nope, okay. Zacian party what they're doing. <laughs> but the crazy thing, he if he went for the double there, he actually could have won still. And like he got a crit thunder and he got the para on bounce. I think you go for the double. His luck was kind of feeling it at the end game. But yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. Is Nick still playing? Oh, Nick has an ad. Very cool. Very cool Twitch. This, uh, casually remove all my followers. Epic. <laughs> Okay, nothing. We crazy and we ditch. <laughs> yeah, there's no more games now. We just be waiting, we just be waiting. this person okay nothing sag we'll follow them anyways though Ditch and go to Michael. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nothing, nothing. Unfortunate for me, unfortunate for me. Yeah, there's just two people left. We got a little B Smithy difference at 3 0. You'll love to see it. Probably just gonna go get a drink real quick. And chill.
We'll be back, be back. Okay, there's one match left on the round. There's one match. Is it bad to say that I'm already tired? <laughs> I am already a little tired. To be perfectly honest. Yo, this last match. Black. Was Amethyst versus SDK Grid Killer? My boy SDK Grid Killer. <laughs> It's, it's a 1-1 one, one game. It's a 1-1 one, one game. So it does actually mean a lot, a lot. <sighs> okay. I think I was right on my estimates. This tour is going to be over at midnight. <laughs> For me.
dude. <laughs> this match is so long, what the heck. I think we found our Zygarde and or Chansey player. So I don't know, I think I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. I don't know if I will stream Legends of Arceus or not. I saw the post game, like the Pokedex stuff, but I played a lot of the game. Like this over the last week when I was essentially on vacation, if you will. And then spending time with my brother. Because unfortunately the capture card I'm using to stream right now doesn't even get audio. And the other capture card that I borrowed has like insane delay on it. So I don't know how worth it it would be. But then again, I also really want to, you know? So it's kind of tough. Though I do know one thing, is I'm going to get a new capture card, specifically for the Kirby game. <laughs> it might just be the cheap one again, and hope the cheap one works long enough. But who knows. Because the cheap one actually did work for me to get audio for a while. That this stopped one day and I could never fix it. It's not because of settings either, because I like looked at all the settings, I watched videos on how to potentially fix it, and it's it just didn't fix. <laughs> it just never was fixed. So I think it's this uh, capture card problem, and then with my it's not an HDMI cable problem either, because when I use the other capture card, it's the same cable, and that, that works fine too. So this is specifically my capture card. Which is kind of a bummer, because I do want to play Legends Arceus. Or I could just deal with no audio, but... For me, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like that game, you probably want to play audio. So maybe I just suffer through a lot of delay. Who knows, who knows. It would probably make it really funny though. The stream like that. Where this every input is so delayed. Kind of sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> I would probably like Pokemon, I guess. Play like actual Pokemon or other RPGs. But yeah, I'll try it soonest and see how it works and if I can deal with it or not. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to deal with it, but. We'll see, we'll see one day. But for now, we are chilling, we are chilling. Yeah, we're still on that one match. Discuss it with the crew here. Okay, okay. Wait. It's gonna be one day to play this whole tournament. Yo, Coco, yo. How you doing? How you doing? From what I'm hearing right now, it looks like it's, it's going to be a one-day shot to play through this whole tournament. And I am scared. I feel immensely threatened by that possibility. And I... hmm. Hmm. So that means this is not going to go past- it's going to be way past midnight. Wait, uh, at minimum like 2 a.m. if I win the tournament. Maybe even 3. <laughs> Probably 3 a.m. That'd be kind of frustrating. 
But who knows, who knows. We'll, we'll deal with it when we get there, you know? The scariest thing about this game though, like legitimately the scariest thing, is like, they marked one game. <laughs> so on this like, are they in game two? Or did the other guy just not mark? It's like, fair. Okay, Mega Umbreon versus Dracula. Actually, we know them then. But yeah, it's a little nervous. A little nervous. <laughs> yeah, I got you, Coco, yo. I don't think I actually posted it. Eh. Oh wait, I did post it. Yeah, I am a little hungry, holy. My stomach going crazy. But yeah, I just sent you in the Discord. Which, by the way, the team will be public in the Discord. Right now, it's just in the sub area, but... Every tournament I play, immediately after, I just dump it in the BGC section of my Discord. Regardless of how well we do. So if we uh, bum out right now, and go like 2-4 or some, something dumb, then I'm still going to post it anyways. So if you want this team, you want any teams for me in the future, there's exclamation point Discord in the chat. And you will get all of my teams, all of my teams, eventually. <laughs> Or you can sub and you can get them all now. You never know. Okay. Um, no, I'm not using DD. I did use uh, DD earlier today, but that was for something else, the USPA match. Oh no, no, the AML match, the AML match. I streamed that game as well, it was a game 3 set, game 3. I won't spoil the results, I won't. Okay, I will, I will. But it, it wasn't much of a set. I kinda just clicked buttons, and my Kiram set kinda sucked. I was just using good old Kira and White in Kyogre.
ba, ba, ba. But yeah, that was where the Ndidi came from. Yeah, still the one game. Like, it's been for the last, like, 20 minutes. I guess we'll watch this match. We'll watch this match. Basically, basically. Tang, everyone knows him, and uh, Maxi playing for the Mogon VGC PL tournament. Zora's bottom and Glazio's top. Zora's were currently 1 0. This is game 1. Let's go, let's go. Got on Charizard and Grim Gastro. This is already like really good for Tang. Especially with this overgrowth right now. Which he probably does. No, he does airstreams. But Charizard is just so much more powerful here. That just doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's the Quake. But you see all that damage that this went out right there. There isn't really a way Maxi can come back. Come back into position here. He doesn't even reveal the Lumberry and he gets the Wildfire going. So this is an easy one for Tang right now. This is the lefties. Your Veltal is cool and all, but it's not gonna like taking that wildfire, even with the light screens. And the blades does just KO the Gastrodon. And Charizard gets another turn to just fire off any hit at once. And it will be getting it, we'll be getting it. The helping hand, this is a heat wave in his game. Does get the KO, but it's uh, way too late at this point. Rotom just doesn't have the HP to come back anymore. Yeah, there's a Sacred Sword, and there's a Follow Me. Does not do enough damage, nowhere close. If this Sacred Sword again, and he queens up the game. Cool. I should have probably have pulled up game two. Or I actually uh, lost that game. But you know, yeah. Impulse. <laughs> we'll see. The things I do while waiting for this set to finish that seems to never be going. Yeah, game two. Game two. Yeah, this. Oh, I don't get why you're going Grassro Grim if you see Zard Groudon. Wait, is that the same game? Yeah, wait. Did I already watch game two? <laughs> Hold up. Game two? Yeah. Charizard maxing, Roto max. 
Reflect. Grim doesn't die. Okay. But it will die to the rock slide, though. <laughs> Lightning. Doesn't do enough. There's still too many turns of solar power, too. Because the Zard's just going to fire off a wildfire, and this, uh, this is too much damage. This is way too much damage. It would have been much more interesting to see if we, like, had a light screen go up instead. Because then the Zacian wouldn't have took too much damage. But even then, it's still, like, a pretty negligible position. Because you're asking Zacian... You're just sacking everything and then it's having, like, Rotom not doing quite enough damage. This Helping Hand, I believe this dies, yeah. Which, this is an interesting version of uh, Tang's old team. This showing another way that he can use Hyper Offense in a way... Kinda different, cause like... Normally this had that Kyogre, Regieleki, Calyrex stuff. But using the same kind of whim uh, hyper offense concept, but then with Groudon and Charizard there, and it just kind of took over. Not really too much to say about that game, honestly. Dude! How do you take an hour for a match? No intervening. It's kind of crazy, dude. Kind of crazy. too long dude we're well over an hour already with this guy's game we have some disconnection issues sorry guys moving forward as fast as we can I just hope that this is not in one day now. This is too long, dude. This is way too long.
Dude, what is happening? I'm just gonna get a sling to eat real quick. This is uh, kinda ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Finally. We're free.
Alright. Finally have a game again, boys. Interesting. But we're finally onto the round though. We are finally onto the round. What do we want to do though? I feel like P2, pretty good. Venu, pretty good. Probably like P2 Zacian, maybe. Like, crowd on back. We're gonna go P2 instead. Yeah, I think we actually go P2 Venu. We've brought on Zacian back. I'm trying to play like that. Oh, uh, we'll see though, we'll see. I don't think there's any, like, too bad leads for us. Torn could be annoying because of Taunt. Thun could also be annoying because of, like, prank your shenanigans. But we'll see. Okay, Thunderous. Torn. Oh, sure. Defiant, alright. That is interesting to see off the bat. I'll let him kill the Venu. Okay, they're just Dynamaxing immediately. Let's see who they taunt. They can taunt Venu, stop the Sweet Powder, or they can taunt P2. But if they do one of them, I'm getting something in return for it. So it's not all bad. But interesting that they're Defiant on Thunderous. Okay, they taunt the P2. That means I get a sweet powder. Almost their goggles, of course. Yeah, airstream the Venu. That's fine. One sweet powder. Yes, yes! Another one berry. <laughs> Perfect. Now we go for the sleep powder and torn. Good taunt again, but I don't really mind that too much, to be honest. Yeah, we just get a sleep powder. Alright. That's fine. Sleep. I'll try to bulk up and go to P2. If we get enough sleep turns, then this could be like a game changing scenario. Because Kyogre is still in the back, so we do have to worry about that. But we can get like bulk up going and we trick room up. And that's pretty good. Prankster? Perfect. So we do need a three turn sleeve, I guess. For this scenario to be perfect, but. It's already a really good start. I guess I was like perfectly fine to quick rock slide there, but. 
yeah, we rock slide and we trick room now. If he gets another sleep turn, then he's screwed. He could uh, get a taunt going, but it's still fine. Like, him getting a taunt up is not game losing for us, in my opinion. And we were able to waste the Dynamax at the cost of our Sash on our Venusaur. So I personally believe to be kind of worthwhile. Going Kyogre? Yeah, there's the Kyogre. But if Taunt doesn't come out here and he gets in our sleep turn, it's his game. We'll see though. He wakes up, okay. Unfortunate. Yeah, we get the Rock Slide. There's the Focus Sash. I think I'm actually just gonna hard rock ball and foul play the Kyogre. We are in rain, which makes this a little scary for me, but I believe in my Groudon. <laughs> Yeah, there's a the Tailwind. Spout, okay. Yep. It always pays off to believe in your Groudon, guys. All late. We get the Rock Ball. I'll play. Yo, thank you for the follow, James. Yeah, we foul play. Coin's gone. <laughs> nah, nah, you good, James. You good. Da, da, da. All that matters is you followed now, and I really appreciate it. The hero, the legend. Zacian, okay. Okay. Hmm. One more turn of taunt. I kind of want to say that I can foul play Thund, lose my Groudon, and my Zacian can win in the back. Yeah, I'm down to say that. Okay, they didn't sub. But we do have Prankster on P2, which is why I'm confident enough to do this. But yeah, we get the foul play on the Thunderous. Thunderous could get another sleep turn too. It would be absolutely huge. We do lose Groudon, which is a little annoying. He wakes up. Superpower, actually. Ugh. We, do, we live. I don't think that's sand damage, barely. Yeah, we get the foul play. No, it, it is. It's 12 damage. Okay. Uh, I should have foul played the Zacian, I guess. Oh yeah, we get Beanie Land. Hmm. <laughs> that actually makes this a little interesting, because he has to target the Venusaur this turn. So I guess we Blade and we Sweet Powder. And this is a uh, huge Zacian's faster end game now. Do that wake up. 
<laughs> to having superpowers. Also, we thought it would be Brick Break. But yeah, I should have recovered with PQ regardless. Okay, that's fine. Speed tie time. Why? Ugh. Smart. <laughs> Wait, he's faster than my Zacian. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hold up, is this the right Zacian? <laughs> um. Okay, I'm missing something. It's 186. Look at a. Oh, Tailwind's. Oh my god. Tailwind was up. Okay. Well, that explains it. Okay, yeah, let's go, me. I completely forgot about Tailwind. <laughs> Why missed? Technically, he can protect his Zacian here and not worry about the speed tie, right? But also, Thunderous is not killing me. I think I'll actually protect the Scout it out and see what he does this turn. Yeah, there's a Blade. Yeah, wild charge. Okay. I don't think wild charge kills is the thing. This may not be quite over depending on the Zacian spread. And if we can bait this correctly. Do we think he protects or not, I guess? I don't think he protects. Okay, perfect. So the wild charge, I don't think it will KO, it's minus one. So we might have just stole that game back, even though we didn't deserve it. <laughs> we really didn't deserve it. For getting about Tailwind like that. Yeah, the wild charge. Ah. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh no, dude. Well, we didn't deserve it anyways, though. That is very sad. There's no way that would have killed. At minus one. <sighs> That's an important info though. We know he's super power. And we know he's slower than our Zacian. I'm gonna try this going Zacian to Thun. Play off that and this like airstream. With Grotto and PQ in the back. We'll see though. We'll see, we'll see. It'll it could just be Torn Thun again. But it's important to know that he's not support Thunderous as well. But we'll see what he wants to do. We'll see, we'll see. It'll be interesting if we both lead uh, Zacian Thunderous. Well, like, that's obviously a positive scenario for me, I think. Because I already showed my Zacian to be faster. 
Okay, you just double genies again. I'm gonna try to sob an airstream. Cause you shouldn't be able to kill thunder my thunderous too easily. And if he does, then we get an airstream and Zacheon sold. He could also taunt and max lightning, but I think I'm okay with that scenario, so I'm not gonna think too hard about it. But I imagine it's actually gonna be a tailwind max lightning to my thunderous. Which I also think it's fine for me, to be honest. Yeah, there's the Dynamax. Maybe a Max Lightning to Zacian, but I don't think that really changes the scenario too much, if I'm being real. Yeah, I'm subbing. Could be a Taunt in a Lightning, that would be a little annoying. Yeah, this is a Tailwind. The Max Lightning do something. Zacian, okay. We're still in sub. We are still in sub. Airstream goes out. I'm actually gonna go for something a little greedy here. And go for a max knuckle into the opposing thunderous. I think that might be able to be a game winning play if we just get a knuckle down. And then another airstream. There's probably gonna be a lightning icy wind, maybe. Yeah, there's the icy wind. He does give Defiant, but... Also interesting is Tornadus is faster than his Thunderous. Okay, there's the Airstream. I don't think Zacian's sub is going to be broken by any scenario here. Yeah, we knuckled. So I think I think we're the safe to this get a wave. Well, I guess he's probably gonna double up with Hurricane here. Yeah, this is a Hurricane, but I don't think there's really much I can do about it. The Hurricanes hope that Hurricane breaks the sub. Yeah, there's a Hurricane. It misses. All right. Oh, he knuckled. <laughs> so the hurricane miss actually didn't matter there then. If he's going to play it like that. Because now we just get a double KO. And we still have sub up too. I was worried that he was like doubling into me. And going for the KO that way. That would have been a lot scarier. But no, we're just safe. Alright. Yeah, the airstream. So that's a clean game too. That is a very clean game too for us. But I do wonder why he didn't just try to double up Zacian there. That was like his one win con. Because now I think uh, my Zacian and my Thond are kind of infallible here. Even with the tailwind. Okay, I just don't think he really does enough here. Alright. See how many turns of tailwind. 
I don't want to protect in case he has sub. I think waiting and wild charging is just overall better no matter what anyways. But I will check the kill in terms anyways. It's probably one or zero. It's one. Probably should have been paying attention to that. But yeah, we just played the Zacian. If we win the speed tie, we win the game. <laughs> he could be Scarf Kai Ogre, but yeah, no. So our Zacian is most certainly faster. It's going to be pretty important for the next couple games. We don't KO, actually. We do not KO. Is he targeting, though? Thunderous? Okay. We're still fine, then. Will be a water spout. I go P2. For sure. Mm. Yeah, I go P2 first, just in case I trace Drizzle. And there's no way you can KO the P2 here. Once you like crits. And I do blade the Zacian anyways. For sure, Grill. You will get a full power water spout off and presumably protect. Yeah, there's the protect. But I think that will be fine, because P2 should live this. And this get up trick room for Groudon in the back. There's no way Groudon won't this clean in this scenario. Yeah. This does open up to like, blades, I mean. But I think P2 is actually healthy enough, where it's gonna live in sun. The Kyogre water spout. So it should be fine anyways, even if we miss. We're gonna foul play Zacian, just to make sure that dies. And it's gonna be game three, it's gonna be a little game three action. But yeah, we go for a blaze foul play. Blades, foul play in the Zacian. Could be a double protect, I guess, but yeah, this foul play is knocked out. He needs me to miss my blades here, and he needs a like double crit. <laughs> and we don't miss, we never miss. But yeah, Kyogre's gone, and we get the crit this time. Steamy game two win. And it's gonna be interesting to see. If he actually wants to go is like Tornadus again. And try to play with me like that. I think we've shown that we can beat it with that scenario. I honestly kinda wanna go like P2 instant and give him the Defiant boost. And this for the Groudon to have Trick Room in the back. And that's Zacian. Cause we only need to fake out one thing to get Trick Room up. So we can just do like this. We can probably be fine. And I'm gonna point for the Groudon end game this time. It's a little, it's a little tougher, I think. But I also don't want to deal with uh, Zacian Thundermirrors because that just does not seem that fun. Even though I do think I have the advantage in that scenario, I just still just don't want to do it. But yeah, there's Thunderous Tornadus. Okay, that's fine, dude. Now I just fake out the Torn, and I set Trick Room. Hopefully, top if we copy Prankster... Yes, okay, perfect. Yeah, we trick room, we just fake out the torn. Thunder is actually maxing here. I don't know if I agree with that, but sure. Cause that actually makes this scenario a lot easier for me. I don't have to worry about Kyogre max in the endgame. I wonder if he's going for a max fighting. 
Because that would actually be pretty good for us, because then we can foul play. And get a queen or KO. Or also set up to recover pretty well here. But yeah, Knuckle. Yeah, okay, cool. And the PQ. Yeah, that's pretty okay. That is pretty okay. Got our trick room. Recover. And flare blitz. I kind of want to see if he knuckles again. Or a Kyogre switch. Uh, Kyogre switch would be a little odd, I think. Or you see the merit in it. Because then you're just getting Eerie Impulse in the next turn. Okay. Well, he's doing the Kyogre switch. Oh, no. He does the Zacian switch instead. So he's going to take a Flare Blitz. Which is also pretty all, pretty all right for me. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. This is a pretty good scenario. Yeah, we got to recover. This will presumably be another max fighting. I don't know into which slot. But I think either or is kind of fine. Yeah, four boys goes up Zacian, it's fine. Oh, the lightning this time. Into P2. It won't KO, still. Good on him not to give me another, go for another knuckle to boost my foul play even more. I will actually foul play four blitz. Well, maybe I should have forward Zacian just to stop the KO. But yeah, you protected like I thought. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, we foul play. He's plus two. He's gonna do a fair chunk. Yeah, we get the blitz. He's probably just going for the KO on uh, P2 though. Yeah, airstream. Sure. Oh, on instant. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> like, that kind of works out for me. Not so much for him. I'm still a prankster P2. Oh, I could even go Zacian, but... Yeah, I go Zacian, just so I don't miss. How many turns of Trick Room? Is pretty important. He also can't protect here. Two. Okay. But yeah, we foul play. We could play rough here, but I don't see a point in risking a play rough. We can just blade. The blade chip is really all we need to win the game. Switching. <laughs> oh, thunderous. Okay. And a Kyogre. That's fine. Are you switching Torn into Torn too? Yeah. Okay. The double switch. I'm pretty sure I'm okay with that. That means we're not getting uh, Tailwind scenarios anymore. We do get a little bit of foul play chip on the Kyogre. Because I think it's all I need to stop a water spout from ever KOing me. But yeah, we played. And now his Kyogre is in play rough range as well. So I think I'm the safe to foul play the Zacian if it goes in. And then we just play rough Kyogre. Yeah, the Zacian. So I think I just foul play and I play rough. I can also just protect here too. It's not too many bad scenarios. I think I actually will protect. Just because he just makes things a little bit safer. And we just recover and protect. Hmm. Oh actually eerie impulse. Force to play. 
Yo, we doing good, Mr. Knight. We doing good. Yeah, let's see. We have one turn of Trick Room. Oh, the Zacian protected. Okay. The Zacian protected. Yeah, now we bring Groudon as he kills my P2. There's a spout. There's a spout. 4 L. Nice. Activity in the Pangi into Herber into Charisma, yo. I don't think my schedule's been bad either. I don't think I've really played my best, to be honest. But it's still working, it's still working. I do think I rock full. Blade, Zacian. Yeah, okay. Bye bye. Mm. <sighs> I consider quaking. The Zacian slot, but I, was, I don't think it really matters. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. So now it's this Kyogre versus Dynamax, Groudon, and a full HP Zacian. There shouldn't be really any way that we lose this now. So we get a little 3 1 on the day. You'll love to see it. Get the Rockfall. Little cup head, yo. I heard a uh, cup heads game like a Netflix ad adaptation. Though honestly, that's probably the one video game that I kind of think is justified for an adaptation like that. Okay, kind of already got that old time TV show vibe to it. Little old time cartoon. I do think we quake and we blades here. We could play rough for the kill, but if we miss our play rough, they get a water spell and it like crits. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. This way, this kind of secures the game, I think. Because Origin Pulse isn't going to KO Dynamax, Groudon, and Zacian at the same time. And we only need two blades to win, anyways. So yeah, there's the blade. So Water Spout Crit no longer wins in the game because of this. Origin Pulse? Uh, okay, he misses anyways. Cool. He didn't get the crit. <laughs> nice! And we just Quake and we take the game. Ba -da -ba -ba. So we 3, 1, boys. I'm surprised that guy never went anything other than Torn Thunderous. <laughs> it works for me, it works for me. Okay, we 3 1, we 3 1. So the only games left is this one, it's this Pac Wilson Z Man. So, not really anything we can do now. Not really anything we can do. Because by the way, do any of you guys know who uh, Marcelo Mora is? <laughs> That's a by the way, because this guy has been spamming my DMs for like an hour. <laughs> 
<laughs> with the most random stuff. I actually kind of want to show it. <laughs> like this. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck is this? Like, this starts with, hello, can you help me? And I'm just like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know the best team, I don't really care. And this is still going, this is still going, throughout this whole tournament. <laughs> that's what's been happening, this is what's been happening. I have no clue who that guy is though, but... <laughs> whatever, whatever. He was asking me about Joe's team, I'm, I'm not, I'm not Joe. I, I'm not a Patreon sub. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> what do you guys take me for? Also, wait. <laughs> Is it the right one? Ah, okay, good. Just had to make sure I could actually open the bracket. But yeah, the four O's right now are Marco Fierro, Dot. Dot's the guy who beat me. And then, like, B. Smithy and Borgie. And that's all the undefeated right now. The three ones are a little... We got Patrick, Holding the Light, myself, Yo, Shine, Charisma, Zardichar, Candies, Corey, and Crystar. Hmm. Maybe I can actually like go into Marcos. Blah, 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 blah. Marco Fierro, the legend. We don't have much time, but it's not too much of a concern, probably. Unless I just don't get the battle fight notification sound that they just added. Um. E times two. Okay, this is Seismitoad stuff. He's playing Alpha VGC. Oh, it's NJ's team. Cool. <laughs> How close are we? Oh. <laughs> Perfect timing. No watching Marco. Yeah, who are you playing, boys? We're playing Corey. Mr. BGC Damp Rock. Crazy. I don't know who would call himself a Damp Rock, but okay, okay. Sure enough, sure enough. But yeah, we're just gonna go into it, we're just gonna go into it. Alright. Someone took my code. That is very rude. That I won't change. <laughs> I'll never change. It's not my problem if they steal my code. And that my code is so smart and clever and not at all basic.
<laughs> Change code nerd. I'm not backing down. <laughs> I am never backing down. <laughs> Let's try this again. Not stopping me. Because my opponent's not even here yet. My guy, not even here. So we're just gonna keep entering the same code and sniping him until he changes. We are not the quitter in this relationship. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell my opponent my IGN. So. Just in case he actually <laughs> accidentally gets matches up into this guy. I was worried for a second he got sniped. <laughs> Yo, watching me? Kind of crazy. Okay, we're playing Cory. What is Cory gonna do? This stuff. Okay. Groudon's really good in this scenario. Like, really good, really good. Here we go, Thun, Zacian. Growled on back. It's P2 or Ensign. Oh, I think I can just go P2. I'm kind of allowing the Gastro to mess with me by doing this, but I think it will be fine. <laughs> the minute I said that, I second guessed if it would be fine or not. Maybe I'll just go Thun Groudon. Then I have uh, Zacian. PQ back. Maybe P2 Ensign. No, oh, Zacian. I think this the uh, base damage that you can do in the back to uh, Gastrodon is important enough to bring it. There could be yawn scenarios into me, which would be a little annoying, admittedly. But I think this is worth it to do this in spite of it. Yeah, Rotom Grimmsnarl is fine. I'm just gonna brick break and go into P2. Nothing too crazy. If I copy Prankster here, this is actually so good. If I don't, well, oh well. <laughs> Levitate, unfortunate. Yeah, he gets the reflect up, but we're just gonna brick break it. Oh well, well, it's fine.
I'm in a trick room now. Okay, withdrawal's grim. Zation, okay. Under it, okay. I actually want Thunderous to die here, to be honest. Someone's gonna get wild charge. I'll just wild charge and I'll foul play the Zacian. Okay, he doesn't protect. It's fine though. I'm still getting the scenario I wanted. Another overheat, it's fine. He does actually kill my thunders for me. Which to be honest is basically what I wanted, so. <laughs> yeah, there's a sacred sword. Does a fair chunk. Yeah, now we get Grot on him. Bulk up and recover. We could see a will o wisp I guess. Yeah, we're seeing a will o wisp It's fine though. I was hoping you would just switch out in a Grim or something. But no, he just let his uh, Zayjian go down potentially. Yeah, there's a will o Annoying. <laughs> it is so annoying. I could have this Rock Mold. Yeah, Sacred Sword into the B2. No surprises there. Oh, we recover again. Withdrawal's Rota. Okay. And the Grim. Lando. Alright. Sacred Sword. We still have another Trick Room turn. It's pretty big. And Sun's gone too now. Bulk up. Transition back. I'll just recover P2. Okay, Lando protects, this is good. And Zacian protects too. So we just get a free bulk up. I'm just gonna rock hold trick room and try to read the Rotom Heat switch in. If he doesn't go for that, eh, but. I don't know how confident he is that he is willing to lose his Asian right now. 
Cause I could also have the switched out PQ into my Zacian. Okay, no switch. This is a Lando Max. Probably an Airstream, Sacred Sword, and the do then. He has no reflect up. Oh, okay. Cause now we bring in Zacian. We can just blade it or something or solve. in. I'm gonna quake protect here. Okay, perfect. If this is an airstream, I'll be a little sad though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, blades the grout on. Quake, okay, perfect. There's another turn of life orb. away. Now our Groudon is plus ones for death. Grim, okay. Uh, Grim's just gonna T-wave. But I can't really stop that, can I? So I guess we have to hope the T-wave misses. <laughs> We would just have to just hope T-Wave misses. Yeah, T-Wave, it hits, unfortunate. I kind of forgot about Grim in this endgame. I should have just bladed Lando the turn before. But yeah, there's the Quake again. All right. That will on Rotom He is so annoying for this team. He crits. <laughs> yeah, if I was able to get the blade off on Lando, that would have been so huge for this uh, endgame scenario. But unfortunately, we were not. We were not. I think as long as we uh, take care of Rotom Heat, the rest of this game is decent for us. So yeah, our priority one, kill Rotom. <laughs> and go from there.
We'll spam Rock Slide now, anyways. <laughs> so we can crit, I guess. Yeah, if I just went for a blade onto that Lando, we actually kind of won that game. But I didn't respect the Grimstar on the back. Yeah, lefties, no damage. He is giving me a single target rock slide. For what it's worth. Yeah, no damage. <laughs> Super crit, yo. But yeah, but this one for the blade that turn it would be a lot easier on me. It'd be a lot, a lot easier on me. We have Rotom Heat's coming in. I don't know it's taking so long to go road and heat, for sure. Uh <laughs> Okay, sure. I guess he's game planning something. Super crit time. <laughs> Dude, what is he doing? I guess I should have this forfeit earlier. It's kind of a waste. Yeah, is there an EQ? It's an overheat and it should queen this now. Oh, oh. Okay, that's the count. Light forward. Hits. Yep. Ooh. There we go. That took a second though. Yeah, Groudon and Trick Room kind of wins. If I can position it well and not get burned. That will list is so important though. If you didn't have will list there, then we actually don't really care about the endgame scenario. So it is uh, important to note he is Life Orb. On the Lando. So Vini is actually not too bad. Do, they... Do you have to respect the Vini scenarios? Is so annoying. Well, let's try and some P2 got on. There's a confirmed Willow on that Rotom Heat. We can Lariat and we can get Eerie Impulse. And threatening that could put some place, space for us to eventually just get rid of it with Groudon or Barack Ball and Trick Room or something. Yeah, Rotom Grimmsnarl again. Cool. Prankster, perfect. A little Lariat. I will trick room. Get a reflect. Nasty pot, that's fine.
this a nasty pot again? Thunder wave. All right. Nasty pots again. Cool. I actually think this is a well though. Turn. But if you guys throw a well -oh here, I'm fine because I can quick folk up. So I'll let it happen. I'm gonna say good on him. Well -oh? Over here. Okay, that's fine. Foul play chip. It's not much, but yeah. Lando comes in. It's probably a burn. This is actually, okay. It's kind of game changing. Like if you want to go down here, we kind of this, <laughs> we kind of win, I think. But he has goggles on Rotom. He might protect. Oh, Lando protects? Okay. But yeah, Rotom goes down here then. Alright. How does he break Grout on? Now that I got this to go my way. Unless we don't know. I think I just go Quake. Let's go to P2. Can Quaking bulk up for the rest of this game now? Him. Yep. We can swords dance, but what is that doing for you, dude? Oh, he's maxing actually. Okay.
way in the ensign. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's a life orb. Spear break, P2, on the sand chip will go out, but it's still like fine for me though. Because all that matters is Groudon kind of wins now. Getting this quick bulk up. <laughs> Going to instant. You will get a Quake Spirit Break on me, but that's still fine. We just have too much power. There's no way to break bulk up. Okay, we instant. Quake and the uh, Ensign, of course. We will live the Spear Break because of the Citrus Berry. We just go out in the PQ again. now. So that's gonna do it this turn. Okay, didn't greed. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna blades right now. Regardless. I'm not even allowing the thought of a comeback here. Like, no shot. Yeah, reflect, no more. I could have bulked up again that turn, but to me, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Sand's gone. Because now I just go an instant. Yeah, there's Zacian. And his uh, Dynamax is gone too now. So. You could still get like a solve up, but it's not too big of a concern. Yeah, I switch, instant. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I don't know why you let me take down the Rotom Heat so early. If I wasn't able to do that, that kind of changes this game a lot. Let's see, Sacred Sword, that's fine. Jesus is gonna lose it to Blades now. Go to the Rock Slide, he misses. <laughs> do we miss Blades? Yeah, we do. Sorry. 
third sword again. <laughs> Bowel CD music. Yes. Yes. The best music in the game, bro. Dude, I miss Pokemon XD so much. Which I'm glad they finally did something cool again, like, uh, with Legends, but... I still want it. I still want it. I'm a greedy kid. I want my XD's Gill of Darkness style games back. But yeah, we go Zation, dude. We go Zation. I think we're chilling now. <laughs> As we were, like, 10 turns ago. But yeah, now we can just, like, quick, uh, rock slide. I do Behemoth Voidization. He can EQ me. I don't care. <laughs> like, it really don't matter. Okay, he's faster. Good to know. But yeah, he's losing his Zacian. And his EQ is not even going to KO my Zacian. Funny enough. So, unless he crits, I guess. <laughs> oh, wait. Crits are so inconsequential to the Groudon now. From the Landorus. Yeah, rock slides again. <laughs> Is he making up? Oh my god. There's a little delay, a little delay. Yeah, we just rock slide and we blade and now it's over. I wonder if he goes gastro next game. Because I showed my willingness to just kind of sit and bulk up on him. And I, I'm gonna show that every game, so <laughs> it will be interesting to see if he actually adjusts and goes like Storm during Gastro and like yawns me. That's the main thing I see being a little annoying. And of course, like Rotom Heat as well. I feel like Gastro, Rotom Heat are really the keys to making this matchup as annoying as possible for me. I'm a player on Zacian. I don't have a, I don't have like CC or anything, so I really do no damage to it. <laughs> so he just wants to play that way. That's really his best shot of winning this game. And he has to hit his uh, Willow, of course. But yeah, I think I had it right. This is going instant P2, crowd on Zacian. I don't think he goes Grimmsnarl again. Because allowing me to have Prankster on my PT is a little too good. <laughs> it, it might be a little too good. I'm curious it could be Gastro though, in this kind of scenario. But either way, I, I still do what I do. Still do what I did this uh, last game. Alright. I might double up into the Rotom more this turn time around and maybe go for like an early eerie impulse on him if he goes for the grim rotom heat stuff again but i don't think he will is the thing yeah i really think he's going to be gastro but i don't really feel like adjusting for his forfeit but i guess that over Z over my own zacian is probably fine but eh. yeah zacian grim this time all right Like if he's doing it like this, I'm just hard going for bulk ups. <laughs> and hopefully I copy Prankster again. Because like I said earlier, this copying Prankster is so huge. Nope. No burrs. I care more about getting the parting shot off in a trick room. You can switch to Rotom now, but... Uh. Yeah, Rotom. Gastrodon, actually. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was right. It is the gastrodon adjustment. I wonder if he still brought Rotom Heat, because he doesn't need Rotom Heat still in order for this to actually be scary. Yeah, I'm going to bulk up. Actually, I'm just going to raw Rock Slide here in case he goes for a Rotom Heat switch in. I'm just going to Eerie Impulse the Gastrodon. No, Light Screen. Okay. Is this a Yawn? Yep. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I think I stay and I bulk up anyways. I just fire off eerie impulses and I hope I get a road heat switch in. I don't think you can actually hurt my Groudon when it's next to a PT like this. Yeah, which roll is Grimstraw into road heat? Oh, and you vault all this fine. Okay. Yawn. All right. Hmm. Your vault all does have foul play here. Does have foul play. Yeah, okay. It's fine again in Timor. More than fine with that. We'll fake out the Voltal here. Yeah, okay, withdrawal Zacian. It's fine. No max. That's perfect. Do we wake up? If we wake up here. Yes! Nice. Oh, we miss. Okay. <laughs> A little less nice. A little less nice. Oh, he turns a reflect or left, I guess. Yeah, Yard's on. One, one, three, okay. Could this fall in Fire Blitz here? I think I actually might. Let's go for it. Hey, okay, withdrawal's Gastro. Nizacian again. Okay, no max. We might actually get a KO then, because we're plus one. 
against a rock ball and a fire blitz. He does have reflect up, but I mean, come on. <laughs> Still a lot of damage coming out here. Still a lot of damage. Yeah, foul play again, that's fine. Big rock ball here. Big, big rock ball. Yep. Okay. Blitz. He has no way to deal with Groudon now. Like, they can go Gastro, but it's, it's not gonna change too much. Yeah, there's Gastro. He's probably gonna go for a Yawn uh, Protect. But frankly, I don't see why I should care. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I don't think I care. Yeah, we just Quake Flare Blitz to cover the sub. If he protects, oh well, but... I'm just going to do the same play again. Are they withdrawal Zacian? Yeah, Grim is going down now. Oh, Gastro does go for a Dynamax here. Okay. Yeah, we're not losing either of our mons. I almost wish I didn't get the KO on Grim there, though. I almost wish I didn't get the KO here. The Quake. Instant, that's fine. I don't think anything poorly happens for me if I just Quake and I have this Parting Shot. Like, it, even if he protects Zacian, that's like enough shift for my Zacian to KO him. So that's still pretty good for me. Okay, they Blade. It's fine. Oh, even if he crits Groudon, I don't think I'm too scared of this still. So. Yeah, we're good. Nice Quake right there. But yeah, not bringing Rotom Heat was just a death sentence to my opponent. They really needed to bring it. Yeah, I'm just gonna end the game. Uh, we're just ending the game here. I'm not gonna quick play rough though. Just because even if we play in cut, I don't want to reveal the info. Quake. I don't care. It's not killing. He has an Azacian, obviously. But I still don't mind too much. Um, yeah, Borgi, give me a second. <laughs> I'm still with my badge, brother.
I was gonna protect Sub. He won't KO me through protect. Ba -ba -ba. I don't know why they're not forfeiting, but. Hellstorm? Yeah. Okay. It's not KOing though. <laughs> Quick blades. That's game, I think. I'm gonna bother quick and play rough. Cause the hail damage isn't enough. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Woo. But yeah, now I'm gonna vote. Okay, I get. I guess cut is tomorrow. Bit. I guess cut's tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're the last game, of course.
This is the first time we actually got consecutive matches, though. We're going against Colding Light. With Karen White stuff. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. I think this is pretty good. It's that, or we just go PQization. Yeah, I think game one we go PQization with Groudon Instant back. Uh, at least for game one. That's because we can take a KO pretty easily. No complicated reason. Okay, and DD Kiram as I thought. So we just sub. <laughs> we kind of sub here. Yeah, those follow me, of course. No max. The earth power. Life orb. Good to know. I don't think I should have set Trick Room that early, now that I think about it. I could have foul played in this uh, sub, that would have been fine. But I don't really regret it too much, because I think having Trick Room in this matchup is so valuable anyways. But I could have just kept sub up, so there's a little bit of regret there. You bait my grout on though. What is worth? I will take the bait. Will in fact take the bait there. Hey, okay, Dynamax is now. Probably a quake. I don't think you're gonna let me just kill. <laughs> yep. Look at that killed. Alright. I'm gonna have to adjust game too. I wasn't too ready for this. I was not too ready for this. Yeah, quake kills me. 
cool. <laughs> I wonder if holding at Max Quake would kill my incident in Max. I don't think it would, but that'd be kind of crazy. Either way, we're eerie impulsing, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you protects. Cool. game really badly. Yeah, this is the Wormwind. Whatever. I turn the trick room. One. If you're the Ndidi, you should click follow me again. But I don't know why I didn't your impulse. Oh, it's still 100% the play. I guess my tiredness is getting to me <laughs> in this game. There's no reason to do that. Yeah. Oh my god, he did. He did withdrawal like that. So yeah, that's a misplay by me. I always should have your impulse there. But I don't know why I didn't. And I'm going to get punished for it a little bit here. Yeah, I don't know why I click foul play. There's no point. Whatever. Sometimes you play a game pretty poorly, and this is this uh, example. You warm once again. This should have been eerie impulse. So this should have no way of done that much damage, but yeah. We in fact didn't eerie impulse it, so there's <laughs> nothing we can say. This is a parting shot. Yeah, it is. Okay, immunization. It's definitely immunization, right? Yep. I'm just gonna forfeit. I misplayed this game one too bad. Really poorly. So it's uh, not really worth pointing out anymore. I know what I did wrong though. I do know what I did wrong. I actually think our re 
our lead was not bad, but I think our execution was. And it's life orb confirmed. So we play same rules, and we just do the same thing. But we don't make as many stupid mistakes, because I think we should be willing. I think the actual approach to this matchup is you have to be willing to sack your Zacian early on in order for it to pay off. At least that's my opinion going into this. So I grot on in the back actually with a uh, Eerie Impulse and P2. So I'm pretty strong. So I think I go Zacian, P2 again, and then wait, grot on instant. But I think that's not actually bad. I just need to play it better. Ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah, Kira and Didi again. Who would have thought? <laughs> It's probably a max defense, max HP and DD. Nothing too crazy. We can like, we can quick foul play, get the chip off, and we can sub. Or we could also just beam the void Kira and let my Zijin go down while I was dead trick room. That also wouldn't be too bad. It's a little riskier though, I'll say that much. I'm gonna try it. This void trick room and play off of that. Uh, it's so risky though. The other play is sub and you foul you foul play out on the next turn. Just set up a kill onto the DD. But I wanna see if this works. It's uh more experimenting for top cut scenarios. But yeah, I was aging go down here. Okay, that's foul play range. Oh he goes for an earth power. Mm -hmm. Trickman goes up. We do take a lot of chip there, just for that scenario, but I ultimately think it's like kind of worth it. Okay, I have the ability to fall play and then DD. But I'm actually gonna do the Eerie Impulse first. Oh no. I Joy-Con drifted into the Eerie Impulse into the NDD slot. That's not good. Well. <laughs> Hopefully follow me's. Follow me, quick it. Please don't embarrass me. I made a mistake, I made a boo-boo. Okay, he protects. Well, the Eerie Impulse would have went into the Kirin White. Um, <laughs> kind of unfortunate. Yeah, Earth Powers again into the instant. Yeah. Uh. Oh, we live. Okay. That was kind of tragic. <laughs> okay, parting shot. Foul play in DD slot. Trolls and DD. Ditto. We did see Blizzard. So honestly, I kind of want to go into Groudon right now. Just because we saw Blizzard. 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna go Groudon. I feel like he is Quaking Blizzard, but it, he could very well dismiss right now. Because the accuracy is that bad. So this doing that seems uh, worth it to me. So yeah, I will go Groudon anyways. Even though I really think he's Quaking Blizzard. Like, this is definitely a Blizzard, but... I don't see a better scenario. Oh, Earth Power. Fine. That's fine, that's fine. Get our lefties. How many times are Trick Room left? Two? Okay. I'm gonna quick Quake. And do a Ditto. Use Eerie Impulse to cure him. Ditto withdrawals. Do Ndidi again. I wonder if Kieran's protecting or Dynamaxing this turn. Either way is kind of fine, I think. Kieran protects. Your impulse. I wonder where he goes. Does he go to my Groudon? <laughs> I mean the Ditto Groudon. That would be kind of cute. We do have one more turn of Trick Room, so I feel like it's Zacian actually. Ditto, okay. I'm gonna Quake and Eerie Impulse the Kiram. And we'll see the Ditto Groudon item. Okay, they are maxing actually. So are they maxing Ditto? It's like the only max that like kind of makes sense right now. Yeah, they are. Okay. That's fine by me though, I think. Impulse. That does mean this is now a speed tie, though. Could be interesting. Yeah, there's the Max Quake, and a P2. Alright. Char is gone. Yeah, there's Zacian. So honestly, I kind of feel like I can bulk up in Trick Room here. Um, no, I can't. <laughs> Never mind. If I do Quake the Zacian, I go into Incident here. And hopefully we can win the double up. Or you win the speed tie, that would be pretty good too. Sacred Sword, that's fine. So we're just gonna get a Quake off into a Zacian, and we go to game three. Yeah, Max Quake.
Nice. Game three, boys. I'm gonna go for a bulk up trick room here. I do believe he's Scarf. Yeah, he cancels. Alright, game three, game three. I think I go the Zacian P2 lead again, I'm going to be honest. I don't see a reason for me to adjust. And just go Zacian, P2, Groudon, Instant. I really don't see a reason to adjust. Game three, boys. Okay. Indeed, Urshifu this time. All right. Post combat. It's a play. That would be a play. I'm just gonna turn one, reveal play rough, go Groudon. And see how that works for me. He's most definitely going for a CC in a foreground too. So we will take a lot of chip here. Yeah, there's a follow me. There's play rough. CC. How does this do? Under 50. Perfect. Follow me's. Probably another CC into Groudon and hope he KOs. Or maybe into Zacian for the chip, I guess. CC into Groudon. Does actually KO this time. Okay. It's a little bit annoying.
Zacian. I know. Okay, okay. I just max polarization, I think. And we're probably good. He shouldn't have a switch in with his Urshifu slot. But in case he, like, tries to go, like, Ditto or something, I guess I could double up. Blade Max Flare. Okay, cool. I think we win then. Unless he gets a crit with his Zacian, then that's still a little annoying. He just has to crit with his Zacian, I guess. Oh, in prison. Alright. <laughs> that is the scenario. CC's Ensign. That procs our Citrus Berry. And we should this KO Zacian with a Max Flare here. So that Imprison doesn't really change the scenario too much. Yep. Nice Imprison. <laughs> Your, um... I think going the blade into Urshifu is the easiest way to lock the game, to be honest. Yeah, this blade and we max flare. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Kiron player losing again. Kind of crazy. Yeah, that's what, kind of why I don't like playing Kiron teams. <laughs> I don't feel like there's really a 100% uh, lead, you know? Into anything. <laughs> we kind of were just able to brute force that. We just won. I'm actually gonna stay alive for a bit. Oh yeah, how did you do, Nick? Yeah. Well, it's not really a cold and light team either. I mean. <laughs> I think that's just the basic way people have been running Kira and White, Zaychi and stuff. I did the same, <laughs> so I can't really judge. Yeah, I don't like Imprison Zaychian. The thing is though, Nick, it, it, does it? <laughs> does it really? Like, it doesn't help it enough. Because like, Zaychian can run three moves, and all of them suck for Kira and White, so I don't know if it actually helps. Oh, you scooped round six to Marco? Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Fair enough, fair enough. Um. What do we actually want to do now? <laughs> I don't think anyone is still streaming this live. True! That's actually true. It is more stuff- It is more cool to this imprison Zacian. And maybe have it work like one game. But I'm gonna see if the... Uh, Michael's live. We'll see what Mr. Michael is doing. Because wow. WD Michael was the guy who was streaming the game. I mean the tournament. A little unmute. So, uh, don't go anywhere if you like some of the stuff that we're going to do. We'll 
shiny hunting. Okay. Let's go ahead and let these guys say their goodbyes, and uh, we will see them later. So I'm going to go ahead and pop over to the screen. Well, that will do it for us guys today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the third Wild League tournament sponsored by Elite Pokemon. So I guess they're done. <laughs> Which makes sense, the cuts tomorrow. I thought they would at least like wait it out in this, uh, see who top cut is. But you can always do that tomorrow, so it doesn't really matter. Yellow, I'm here, yo. Hello, Mr. Potato. Do you think I'm done playing the Pokemon? We just came back today. Wait, the wide, the wide lead. Oh, I'm just gonna add that right there, but I'm gonna ladder because I'm bored. <laughs> Yeah, good night, Mr. Borgie. I think after the first match, we should be able to check in with uh, Top Cut too. I wonder where I am, because I didn't play any like the last few seasons. So I'm probably pretty well. Yeah, great ball. Let's go. Pokeball, actually. Never mind. <laughs> uh, back to my home. be able to find games though. That's like my one worry. And I think it's gonna prove to be a relevant worry. I'm gonna try to fun Zacian him, to be honest, and it's like brought on. Back. We'll just play like this and hope it works. I'm confident it will though. But yeah, it should only be after this match and we'll be able to just we'll get top cut. And see what's happening, see what's happening. I do believe it is a top eight. I think. I think, I think. Okay, it's X, Q, cut. So we'll be able to look at the bracket in a bit. Oh, Kingra, Zacian is the lead, all right.
I'm just gonna kind of quick buttons. <laughs> but I think the play is actually this is double up the opposing Zacian slot. But I don't care enough, so I'm just gonna airstream Zacian. I'm gonna play with the Kingdra and see what happens. <laughs> if I lose, it would be not as embarrassing. Not that embarrassing to lose this, anyways. Okay. They keep Kingdra in, so this either means a protect or they're insane. One of the two. <laughs> I'm hoping they're insane. I would be a big fan if this max watered me, predicting a double up onto their Zacian. That would be epic. <laughs> Yo! Okay. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> Poirot. Huge. Yep. <laughs> ah, the demon KO, dude. Demon KO. Oh my god. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to be able to recover from that, if I'm being honest. I feel like I just like... I'm just ashamed to my whole family right now of that poor old thing kill. <laughs> Worm one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We're still good. We're still in business. Let's go. We still fine. We still fine. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, plus one. I will airstream again anyways though, and this beam with played the puzzleization slot. Cause they're gonna die to life or like two turns. If they go to switch out into Kyogre, then I just get in our airstream anyway, so it's pretty okay with me, and I can bring Groudon the next turn and then airstream again. So I think about all these scenarios work out for me pretty well now. So they could protect Zacian. Oh, they max guard Kingdra, that's fine. I'm just doubling up your Zacian now. So yeah, we basically win this game. Don't kill. Okay, that's actually pretty bad. Not killing there. Oh no, dude. Fun with. Okay, you win the Zacian. I think I'm okay with that. Now I can airstream and I can blades. But yeah, that's not, that's just two unfortunate survives in a row. You hate to see it, dude. You hate to see it. Airstream and we blades. We miss blades, we're crying. <laughs> There's Kyogre. Thunders will still be faster, though. Thunder, it's still faster. Yep. Now we get a single target blaze off into the Kyogre. So maybe we even KO Kyogre here. I don't think the Kyogre is going to be very bulky, if I'm being honest. Let's see, let's see. Blaze, alright. Ferrothorn, okay. Ferrothorn's interesting, but it doesn't really do too much either. Because I'm bulk up Groudon. I actually win the 1v1. <laughs>
I will blades though. Wall charge. Just because single target blades the first turn is good enough. Damage. I always I believe I'll win the iron defense. War with bulk up. I hope so. I will be getting a lot of chip down, that's for sure, that's for certain. Yeah, we wild charge, single target blades. I guess if we miss here, that would be pretty bad though. Okay, we hit, perfect. Ooh. Oh, power whip, okay. So he has AV, confirmed. I'm just gonna click bulk up. You could power whip again, but yeah, he forfeits. Cool, cool, cool. Hopefully that was enough to get us into the top cut. Go looks like it was. It looks like it was. Or not. <laughs> There's still Cory and Zardy Char. AV Pharaoh, Rizzle Kyogre, Rain Dance Thon, Sash. Oh, yeah, it's this team. Okay. So we didn't change anything from that team. Cool to them. Let's see, let's see. What's top cut looking at? Yeah, so it's uh one more round, one more game. Zardy Char versus Cory. And the winner of that will be on top cut. They will they will. I guess we will continue battling.
I think I'm gonna try the Thun Zacian or Thun Groudon here. Groudon's pretty good for sure. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna play like slow, Piku Instant. I'm gonna like Groudon back. And then, and then, I don't really know. Zacian. <laughs> or my own Venu. I think having a Venu of my own in the back might be better. Just because it deals with his Venu. And we have a Sash on it too. Oh god, I timed out. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. Well, good job, me. Good job. I'm actually gonna remove the text. Someone just ask. I don't care. <laughs> Someone can just ask. Yeah, we want 5 1. Just so I know what the timer is. Yeah, Groudon's Asian weed. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. I'm gonna play this hyper aggressively. I don't feel like I have much of an option, considering how I accidentally <laughs> timed out. I'm hoping they overthink this and go for like a... Uh... Hmm. I actually don't know. Hmm. I'm just trying to kill the like, Binu. And if they get the Weather Ball kill on my Zacian, so be it. You're just playing hard KOs, please. Please game. <laughs> I probably could have solved the Zacian. And got the same scenario down, but I kind of already messed with the lead, so I'm not too worried about this. Oh, you reflect sleep powdered. Perfect. If you miss a sleep powder, we win. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I really got rewarded for misquicking, huh? You'll love to see it. <laughs> it's simply better like that. He wasn't ready for the turn one Groudon quaking in front of a Venusaur. They never are. <laughs> oh man. And that's how you avenge yourself after this uh, time you out game one. You just make it work. And sometimes it does. <laughs> and sometimes it does. Dude, my opponent is probably kind of stunned. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, Zacian now. Cool. Nice Zacian, brother. I love Zacian. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just attacking. I think he's the one who has to like prove something here. I don't. <laughs> it's attacking every turn. We don't protect. We're the little ladder Timmy's, dude. We're going crazy. It's going in, going in. Yeah, nice. Oh, swagger. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> he swaggered himself. But yeah, he didn't get it though, so we're good. He's not KOing. Yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> yeah, we get the Blade Quake double up. What? Well, that was a game. That was, that was something. Full swagger play to you. Yeah, we just attacked. He would have KO'd my Groudon with that too. If he actually hit. <laughs> and didn't get the confusion. He was doing a self swagger play, but... You know, you know. I still respect it though. He hasn't Dynamax yet though. There's one plus side here. There has not yet to been a Dynamax. Charizard. Groudon. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm actually just going to double the Grim. He's probably Lumberry or something, but... 
I'm gonna deal with it anyways. Okay, there's the max. Probably a quake into my Groudon with like a Lumberry tech. And he swaggers himself for the KO. If he does anything other than that, then I'm probably fine. Like, I don't see another play that like messes with me. Yeah, there's a swagger into the Groudon. No, into my Zacian, okay. Well, that's one way to go about things. I kind of wish I bladed his Groudon, because then we could have KO'd. <laughs> but no, we didn't. But yeah, we get the blade on Grimmsnarl, though. We do get the blade on Grimmsnarl. And it does appear that all Tordians are done. All the games are done. So I'm going to take a little pause, probably. And look at like the bracket. Yeah, there's a max quake. It's fine. Ugh. I guess it's for death boost, but I don't really mind too much. Lefties. <laughs> Yeah, we just go Venu, we click Leaf Storm, and we put Bulk up. We just chill. Big chunk, big chunk. Come on, I'm gonna bother, because I know he's gonna be a uh, Lumberry. He isn't Citrus, so I think that kind of confirms in my head that he's long. But it is a max player and a Venusaur, doesn't really matter too much. We'll bring me to Sash. Yeah, now my Groudon's kind of unkillable. I can just quick Blades and Leaf Storm for the game. Yeah, the reason I did that is I knew my Blades wouldn't KO. So I just wanted to bulk up and just chill. Buys me an extra turn, there's no risk involved. And make sure it's my Groudon lives and he does kinda of want to target the Venu always. Because having Venu around is pretty scary. I could even bulk up again if I wanted to, but yeah, we leaf storm. We actually crit. And we just win the game off of that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, that was not the plan. <laughs> That was not how I planned this game to go out, but it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. I might as well, because it's kind of cute, it's long, right? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Heat Rock. Okay. Sash. I was not expecting Heat Rock, Groudon. I'm gonna be honest. Yo! Master Mark with the raid. How you doing? How you doing? We're just doing a little bit of ladder. We just played in the wide area tour. We got a little 5-1 cut with our bulk of Groudon shenanigans, and now we're just taking to the ladder and just chilling off that, chilling off that. Go old man with a follow, huge, huge, huge. You love to see it, you love to see it. But yeah, this team isn't anything special. It's just like uh, P2 Thun Venus stuff, but we have a bulk of Groudon to prove a point. To all the Calm Mind Kyogre players out there. Because, you know, Bulk of Groudon, kind of better. You know, you get your uh, Spadef boost off your Quakes. You get the little Defense boost. It's such a better wall. Kyogre kind of stinky in comparison. <laughs> I 
Oh, man. I don't know how many matches we'll be able to find in Pokeball tier, though, because I didn't play during the last two seasons. So I'm hoping we can at least, like, get a little farther up. At least, like, Ultra Ball today, and then I'm probably going to go to sleep, because it's already midnight. Just to make sure the next time we stream that we'll have games consistently. Okay, that's always the worry. Go okay, we'll trainer found. Huge. Edward. Yo. Oh. Okay. But yeah, the one unique thing about this team. This move. <laughs> Event, it's it's actually won me games versus the foul play Yvettel stuff. Because Bulka, because you're getting the defense boost, foul play's damage never goes up enough. <laughs> Togetic, yep. Yeah. And also, it's more so to prove a point to Kyogre players who use Call Mine Ogre with the superior Bulk of Groudon. You know what? Put this Groudonization in this. Put PD back. It's instant or Venu? I think I go instant. This is where they intimidate. And then we just. Can we literally just can quick bulk up? With no worries. I've never been a huge fan on SD, yeah. Dude, Volko kind of sick, it's kind of sick. No one's ready for it. <laughs> but... Yeah, we go Ensign, you bulk up. Because <laughs> they're not going to be able to deal enough damage to me here. We could have this Blades too, but he's going to be weakness policy, right? So it's going for the bulk ups a little stronger. I guess he could be special in the Krozma and that would be a little annoying, but... And also it could be white guard stack, is another reason why I did that. And yeah, there's the white guard. There is the white guard. But yeah, we just get a bulk up. Both times I've been like, well, I'm going to SD. <laughs> true, 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 true. Oh, this is a trick room, nice. Nice. But yeah, we're gonna switch. You know, our P2. We could bulk up again, honestly. It's not really necessary. Because we can just Quake stack right now. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll Quake stack. This is covering just in case he's some weird special in the Krozma set. Well, I think it's kind of unnecessary to do this, but yeah. Better safe than sorry, right? And this Groudon is basically unkillable here. I don't think there's anything our opponent can do right now. <laughs> Unless he reveals like Coal Mind, I guess. But we're getting Quakes up now, so... I think that's also pretty inconsequential. Oh, Rock Slide, okay. It does miss the Groudon, so he can't even get the flinch. Breaking Swipe, oh. Okay. That's a little annoying, but it actually doesn't really matter too much. Because <laughs> the thing is, we're still getting our Quake down. We've basically made Groudon unkillable. And that's all that really matters to us in this scenario. So that's interesting to see a uh, support, Trick Room, Breaking Swipe, Necrozma. I've genuinely never seen that. Yeah, we get our lefties. I imagine they're going to go into their Groudon and maybe try to set up Swords Dances here. No, oh, Serena, that's fine. I will actually hard out an Ensign. And guard here. So I know it isn't very impressive, but I feel like we got all the boost with Dynamax we need. 
for this stalling a few turns is probably fine and just having instant in for this arena now is more important yeah there's the dynamax so i made a wide cho wise choice by this chilling there it actually is a serena so there's probably gonna be a max uh grass in my groudon but it's pretty inconsequential with how we have it set up. Yeah, we max guard. Hailstorm, okay. I was not expecting that, to be honest. And there's an arrow breaking swipe. There's an arrow breaking swipe. I think I just party shot the Serena though. I could fire blitz, but I think it's kind of unnecessary. Uh, this Quake, the Necrozma. We, we will give weakness policy to Necrozma here, but I think that's kind of unproblematic at this point. Because I don't think this Necrozma is really designed to do damage anyways. And he actually does switch out. Is this a... Uh... Groudon, okay. Yeah, there's a Hellstorm. Interesting to see him go for a Hellstorm and not like a max overgrowth. I think I can just effectively parting shot and I can quick bulk up again. Once Dynamax is gone. And we go another Intimidate in this cycle a little bit. Oh, we go P2. For now, though. Just in case he gets the idea to, like, Sword Dance on me. There's a guarantee there's no Sword Dance potential here. Yeah, there's the Quake. See how this does is plus one. Yep, fair chunk. Fair, fair chunk. I'm gonna be honest, I think the hail there hurts him more. I feel like that's actually range of the blades. Now I can just switch an instant again. And he shouldn't be able to break Groudon ever. Even with the Serena max overgrowth. It's going to be minus 3 now versus a plus 1 Groudon. So yeah, I have a switch. These blades. We're chilling. But yeah, surely this is a max overgrowth here. Surely, surely. Storm again, actually. So that means he's not getting an overgrowth up this game. Oh, he does get the blades. And he misses Ensign. They do miss Ensign. The Groudon. So that's like no damage. Yeah, this looks like a lock already. A little bit of a lock. Necrozma again. Hmm. I kind of just want to attack here. I don't feel like there's any point in making this game go any slower. So yeah, we just Flare Blitz, and we just, uh, Blaze, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, we just Blaze. We will get the Weakness Policy, but I don't really mind. Okay, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we should be in Great Ball now. I hope. <laughs> Yep, great bowl.
Rotom Heat is really annoying for this team. We kind of just have to brute force it with Groudon in the end game. <laughs> this hope is enough. But I'm gonna go Thunderous actually for this. With Thunderous Zacian, we go Groudon. I'm actually gonna go PQ back. This is pretty bad in the Rotom Heat, but you know, not much we can do. I just have to hope that Thunderization on itself is a strong enough lead to just get through it. Which it might be, a lot of his mons are weak, weak to Thunderous. So it could just be enough on its own. But we'll see, we'll see. Conversation and the Kyogre Instant, that's perfect. And it's Scarf Kyogre. I'm actually going to Airstring, going to Groudon. Just straight up. It's a little greedy because we're going to take spell damage. But I feel like they're going to parting. They either fake out or they parting shot. And if they go for the fake out, then the next turn we can like bulk up. And just went off of that. And the Airstream boost. And we also have this Blaze on them, which is pretty effective against our whole team except Zapdos. So I think it's fine. And also, Groudon doesn't really do too much in this matchup anyways. For this, the weather reset. So if we ISO Kyogre early, it's pretty good. Regardless. Yeah, they actually do fake out. And the Thund, okay. Water spout. Yep. Scarf. Ooh, they crit. That makes this a little more annoying, I'm gonna be honest. But, still not too bad. But I was, in fact, not prepared for the crit scenario. I am going to knuckle and I'm going to sub. This turn. We do have the chip on Kyogre. All we need to do is prevent the instant from really gaining too much momentum here, and then we're good. Instant does actually switch out here. Okay. And a Rillaboom. Yeah, this matchup looks pretty clean for us then. We're this game the KO and Kyogre with Knuckle, and we're gonna have sub up. Like, I'm not sure what they can do at this point now. I am not sure. We knuckle and we sub. All right. So we're a plus two Zacian now, <laughs> and a plus two Thunderous. If he goes instant, we're plus three with our fun. So yeah, everything's just gonna die now, it seems. I think I need this Airstream instant, I just played the Rillaboom, and that will just kill both. And it will make my Zacian faster than the opposing Zacian in the back too. So yeah, this is looking like a nice little win. So I hope all you guys are having a wonderful night. Well, night. Ba, 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 ba. But yeah. Yeah, airstream. That definitely kills us. Plus three. 
We got it. We got it. And the blade goes on the roll boom with a nice little KO there too. A little animation. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I do not blame the guy. Yeah. Oh, we still get to see the blade. We still get to see the blade. Joke's on him. He can't ruin my fun. I love how we still get to see the Behemoth Blade animation. <laughs> Yo, Topolopo with the follow. Huge. I really appreciate it, really appreciate it. Which, by the way, I actually will be releasing this team tomorrow. Because we're, we were playing in a tournament. The Wide League hosted by WD Michael. This a little bit before this tournament. So this team, once tomorrow is over and Top Cut's done, we're going to be playing a little more ladder, of course, but the team will just be public on the Discord. And I'll also have it on the channel, too. This will exclamation point team. But for now, it's not fully public. And if you want to have it in advance and all my other dumb teams that I may have used or may not have used yet, all that's also for subs. But in general, you can get most stuff on the Discord for free for the remodder. The subs just get stuff that I haven't actually used in a tournament yet. So I thank you guys all so much for the support though. Because it's my uh, first time streaming in like two weeks. Because it's like completely gone. Also man, we're playing the most wild teams out here. What the heck. A little Garatina action. I think I just go Thun Zacian again. With like Groudon back. Yeah, I think we're kind of chilling. Coco is their second restricted. No, that's where you're wrong, actually. It's Vaporeon. Everyone knows Vaporeon. It's basically a Kyogre. <laughs> Honestly. I'm just going to go PQ anyways. Does it really matter too much? Bum. Oh, oh yeah, true! Arcanine is THE legendary Pokemon. How could we forget? It's always been Arcanine all along. He basically has two restricteds. A little Garatina-Arcanine combo. Okay, Coco, Corviknight. And the Thumbs Asian. Hmm. I think I max Lightning Behemoth Blade to guarantee the KO. Throwback to when Arcanine's Pokedex entry from China. Yo. <laughs> I actually don't know that. I never knew it did. Was that like the original game or something? We yeah, Wild Charge, Beam of Boy. We, well, we could Beam of Boy Coco. But I don't think it matters. Because Coco is never going to be able to kill the Zacian anyways. Okay. Works for me. <laughs> oh, that, that works for me. It does work for me. And they're not maxing the Coco either. This could be an... Hmm. I actually don't know what the Coco's going for. Yeah, the first gen games? Oh, on the 3DS too. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> but yeah, I've never done that. Even though Arcanine is one of my favorite Pokemon. Yep. That's why I was like, oh, thank you. Kind man, kind man. <laughs> yeah, the Weezing's gone. That Volt Switch did like nothing. Yeah, there's Corviknight again. I don't think he'll actually be able to kill me with a max Thunderbolt. So it would have to be like a physical wild charge and then he kills me. But either way I can airstream, right? So it doesn't really matter too much. I guess well, if Corvair Ooh. <laughs> it lived. Okay. I was not expecting it to survive there. It was not part of the plan. But I will airstream substitute. We're still chilling. We're still chilling.
All right, sub. Okay. Okay, okay. So yeah, we're plus two now. Iron head. Did I even break sub? Oh, it does, okay. Garatina, all right. I will this behemoth void the Garatina and KO it, and let's go for a max lightning in the Corviknight. I don't think there's like any risk to that. Kinda of insane actually. That Gar Garatina could live that. And it gets a kill now too. Or it doesn't. I think it's like max defense Garatina, to be fair. Cause that was a plus two Zacian, and still this didn't kill at all. I think I go P2. I think we go PU. I just saw uh, wild charge and I foul play. BC what you use legendaries this season? Yep. And unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, if you do actually like the legends, this is gonna be all year, baby. This is all year. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be the format of the world championships. Yep. And Wapo, I genuinely thought there was no way they would do it like this because they've had legendaries for so long, but they proved me wrong. <laughs> oh, Outrage. No, this isn't the new Calm Mind Ogre. It's the, it's the better set. It's much better and cooler. Don't disrespect Bulk Up Groudon by comparing it to Calm Mind Ogre. That's all I'm saying, Renju. Significantly better. <laughs> uh, what do you got though? It was wild charge, ball play. Kill free, doesn't really matter. We have Grout on the back. Coco can never break us. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we wild charge. And. Okay, they double. Cool, cool, cool. It has no damage. Other life orb, you. They haven't Dynamaxed yet, by the way. <laughs> so I wonder if they'll use Dynamax now. Analytic with a Mon that isn't P2 and run Lagging Tail, so you always go last. Yo. Oh yeah, they Dynamax now, of course. I see, I see. The little animation stun lock right there. I already should have this point in the ground on hole. <laughs> this is uh, speed up this process a little bit. Yeah. It's another turn. This is another turn. Starfall. That might not even KO. <laughs> yeah, it's not KOing. We foul play. Yeah, Coco's gonna go down this turn. For sure, for sure. Oh, 
When speaking of the tour, it's gonna end at like 6 p.m. And the Discord is this SMH point Discord. Well, I mean, it starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow, EST time. Or I guess today, because technically. Well, whatever, Sunday, 6 p.m. EST. And that's when Top Cut starts. Because I also have the bracket here, we have the brackets. Because that was a tournament that was going on earlier today. I decided I'm just going to play ladder anyways afterwards. I wonder if they already have the bracket up though. I guess I can check that real quick. It's the Wide League Tour. The winner basically gets the TCG booster box. I believe, I believe. Okay, the bra the bracket is not up actually. But yeah, second place gets forty dollars. Woo. And then uh first place gets a booster box. Which booster boxes, if you don't know it's a VGC player, it's like $300, I think. Yeah, booster box. Oh no, it's like 140 I was very wrong. <laughs> That's not too bad though. I'm not much of a TCG player, but I don't mind, I don't mind. I'll probably just sell it all though and get code cards <laughs> instead. Yeah, like 100 to 140 I don't know why I thought 300, that's kind of insane. <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. To be fair to me though, it is a lot of packs. It is a very, very large amount of packs. Maybe I just got used to the scalper prices that was all during COVID. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I feel like Venu is very really good here. Immunization, Groudon. I do kind of want P2 in the back. This is a reverse trick room. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's an interesting team though. Oranguru, Dialogue, Kyogre, Namungus. Those are all very scary bonds. There were 300 during the Pokemon card opening phase. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that's probably where I got the number because there's so many people who are the scalping Pokemon cards for no reason. <laughs> well, scalpers are actually the worst because there's no merit to it. You can do so many other things. new crowd on so there's the jinx i want to try the sweet powder sub i think they could fake out my venu but they can't fake out both nice <laughs> okay so hit sleep powder nice nice nice, nice. <laughs> they got his show <laughs> They do somehow? Fair enough. Buying actual stuff. <laughs> Real value. Nope, nope, nope. We're buying kids training cards. I get it for like older sets that are like not in rotation anymore because who gives a crap? And that's more collecting. But no, they just do it all the recent sets before. <laughs> To what it's probably not even going to profit them much if anyone's smart about it. But yeah, this is what happens, what happens. Yeah, I'm going to Vine Last Go and Groudon. This might backfire a little bit now that I think about it. So maybe I could have gone for a Sweet Powder instead. But I feel like having Vine Lash up is always good, anyways. So even if this backfires on me a little bit, still got a vine lash off. Okay, it didn't backfire. In fact, it went pretty well for me, I think. Well, actually, this is probably probably a lovely kiss, right? <laughs> Going in the Kyogre there, actually, this perfectly enables that lovely kiss into my Venusaur. 
So that switch actually works out very well for my opponent. Presuming they get the lovely kiss on the Venusaur, because it's like a lovely kiss into my Groudon slot that I don't really mind. Yeah, lovely kiss? No, Ice Beam. Uh, cool. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, we get our Vine Lash. This should be enough to KO. Uh, close. <laughs> Not close anymore because of dry skin. I think after another turn, we might actually KO though. So I'm going to max guard and go into Zacian again. I think the Vine Lash, even through the Dry Skin recovery, should KO here. I might be off by like 1 HP though, <laughs> is the reality of this. Let's see. Yeah, we max guard. Ice Beam, okay. Okay, okay. No Water Spout. Did you probably kill Zacian? No. I actually did no damage. Oh yeah, it doesn't KO. Never mind. I underestimated the dry skin recovery. Yeah, either way, I'm gonna Vine Lash again. I'm just gonna be human blade. The Jinx. And I believe Venusaur is gonna be faster because he has a Rangaroo and a Dialga. So I'm willing to take the risk on that. If it was a more uh, offensive team, I would have just switched in Groudon and KO'd uh, Kyogre for sure. But like, there's no way it's a fast Kyogre with this kind of team. And I was right, yep. We just get the Vine Lash. Oh, he lives. Okay. Origin Pulse. And it misses Venusaur and Zacian. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. But yeah, regardless, Groudon kind of wins in the back anyways. This is the fact we have that sweet powder and you can switch out Dialga instead of going for the wake up. Kind of bites on him a little bit. Yeah, he goes Seismitoad. He has his Dialga there. And now I'm going to go into Groudon. And just Leaf Storm. Nope. <laughs> Not Leaf Storming a Dialga. Not today. Yeah, we go Groudon. Yeah, Groudon actually closes this pretty well, because he, he, he has physical Seismitoad, I would imagine. And then Groudon obviously matches up pretty well in the Dialga, too. Yeah, we Leaf Storm. They do Dynamax, actually. If they go for like a Max Draco, that would be pretty scary. I think that actually could KO my Groudon straight up. It's like, oh no, it's Seismitoad. Well, I think Seismitoad dies anyways, to be perfectly honest. If it doesn't die, it's gonna die to the Vine Lash. Oh, we miss, Never mind. And Quake. That does keep things interesting, I guess. And Dialga still has a scenario where this quick roar of time on me. <laughs> and somehow brings his back still. Life orb, yeah. Okay, never mind. Hmm, but that is a little annoying for us though. P2 should probably win in the back at this point. I'm just gonna play off the Dialga in this Blades. I'm pretty confident P2 wins in the back. If I can just ISO one of them. So yeah, we get our player off. No, no. But he shouldn't be able to KO Groudon. Oh, he actually is going for a geyser in the Groudon. 
That's fine by me. All I need to do is hit the Dialga and I can switch. It'll be fine. Cause this is gonna be his last turn of Dynamax. Yeah, we hit our blades. Oh, we can honestly hit this attack if we wanted to. It would still be fine anyways. So I think that's actually what I'm gonna do here. His player off is gonna do enough, I imagine. Or blade. Oh, we can just blade. And this is a single target press of blades now. So I'm just gonna attack. There's the geyser. And the Groudon, I imagine. Yep. Yeah, we just get the blade off. That's more than enough damage. Perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, I actually want to set because of the bulk up versus a Yvel guy. Because, uh, they, I could just set up the bulk up on them, and Yvel doesn't get the foul play damage boost. This is the same damage. So, defend, it ma basically made it a lot safer to set up. And also, it caused some funny ga end games, too. Because it actually does kind of wall some things pretty well. Cause you're just getting bulk up boost and you're getting quake boost and you have a P2 that can quake eerie impulse. <laughs> so it actually can have like deceptively stalled out games. And like one bulk up makes Zacian not really able to kill you anymore. Hmm, okay. Kyogre, Zacian, Cinderace, Serena. Cool, cool, cool. Asking to get crit. Well, so let's call mine Kyogre, but we're cool. Right? And also, you only need one bulk up, anyways. It's not like Zygarde, where you need to coil like 10 times. Because <laughs> Groudon is still a strong Pokemon, for that matter. Hmm, I think I got Thund. Stay tuned. Go Groudon, PQ back. Uh, Arshark is a little annoying, actually. I'm just gonna go Hard Trick Room. It's, it's kind of scary to go Hard Trick Room into this, though. Is the thing, because of Serena. Because Serena can just stop me from getting my Trick Room up how I want to. Yeah, we'll try this. I imagine it's gonna be like Serena Kyogre. Which is why I wanted Thunderous in the lead. I wonder if it's Scarf or it's Vex. Both sets are pretty annoying though, to be honest. Um, we'll see though, we'll see. Okay, it's Whim and it's Cinderace. That's annoying too. <laughs> that is in fact very annoying for us. Uh, because they're lame. I don't know. <laughs> It's mainly because Zacian just has so many moves. Like a ridiculous amount of moves. This is really bad for me though. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I'm gonna say something greedy here. I think that he's gonna switcheroo my Thunderous. And go for like a G-Max Pyro Ball into it as well. So I'm gonna greed. And go for a double up onto the Cinderace. For like no reason. <laughs> Damn it, it didn't happen. <laughs> Who would have thought my greed wouldn't work? Oh, he's missing Pyro. Okay. <laughs> I deserve that. Oh, he lived. Never mind, I'm the goat. It's in respect to my name. Yo. Kind of crazy with it. Yeah, we get the KO there. 
the simply better. No. <laughs> simply, simply. They do get Tailwind up though, and they're gonna go Kyogre. Which is a little scary. Yeah, and there's Sub, and there's like... I think the battle between Player of Sacred Sword and Sub is just very strong. Though I feel like Zacian can run about anything and be fine. In uh, the other side of it though. I'm actually going to max Lightning. And Poirot. I'm scared that it's Bex, though, I'm going to be honest. Do people actually put Poira? Uh, Palkia, Kyogre. And also it helps a little in Dwight, some things I use hit neutral like Thunderous. I think the fighting move though is generally- oh, Charm. That's good for me, because that means he's not going to KO me with Water Spell. Cool. Yeah. I don't think neutral on the instance too much of a plus, because you're fighting versus having Sacred Sword most of the time. So it's more so this than the Palkia and more damage than the Kyogre. While also this being a strong general stab move, you know? Like, Poirot isn't weak into anything, you know? And you don't get as, like, hard walled by most flying types anymore. Missing is a state of mind, Extros. I thought we knew this. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, the Wild Quarter... Yeah, Wild Charge Recoil is a good point, too. Kazashian is a very wolfy Pokemon. Oh, this Air Streaming Trick Room. It seems a little counterproductive, but you know, I just care about the Groudon in the back. So it's actually not counterproductive, thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, Max Arena. I'm hoping I can just win off a of bulk up in the endgame. To be honest, I probably can. The mm, Whimsicott will be a little annoying because it's going to spam Charm and Helping Hand, for that matter. <laughs> it is a max Knuckle. Okay, that's going to boost my foul play damage. Well, I'm down. <laughs> I'm just going to double click foul play into it next turn and it, it should die. I don't think Moon Boss will kill me. Yeah, we go for the airstream. Not too much damage, but I think double clicking foul play kills. If it doesn't, we still have Groudon in the back. And hopefully that will be enough too. But we'll see. I'm gonna turn the tail end actually. One. Okay, that's so. Yeah, I think we just double click. Oh, we can't double click foul play. Quick airstream foul play, so basically the same thing. I could recover too. Uh eh, recover airstream is pretty okay. But probably unnecessary. So I'm gonna foul play. <laughs> yeah, there's the helping hand. Oh a max okay. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting a helping hand max card. In this economy. Okay, one's down. So now it depends on like, what's the Serena's speed. I will foul play though. Let's double up. She is plus one, and I'll try to take advantage of that. But maybe I could have recovered on PQ. He's gonna lose Dynamax next turn. That is fine, he helping handed. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's look. 
He is slow. Come on, foul play. <laughs> Foul play. Hmm. Not quite enough. <whistles> All right. Dynamax gone. Oh, he turns the trick room to too many. I'm not sure if the Whimsicott actually has an attacking move, so I'm gonna foul play press ups and hope it doesn't. Or that they miss Power Whip. <laughs> Those are two scenarios. Because he has Charm, Hoping Can, Tailwind. Wait, that's a lot of moves. Oh, Bounce. I was not expecting that, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna be greedy and quick bulk up. There's a hoping end bounce. Laser, real, this way. Oh, I hoping end power was gonna kill. That was stupid. I need a blade. Bro, well, it's minus Q though. He can still miss power whip. I actually I think he's forced to tailwind because I did this. Because the rock slide is going to go first and probably kill. So he would have to charm again, and I don't think. Yo, he charms again, okay. So we get the flinch. And we win, I guess. Or they miss power whip. So the odds aren't against us yet. Okay, they're pretty against us. That was no damage. But we do get the points, though. <laughs> we do get the flinch. After seeing that, I think I bulk up, though. That was like nothing. Yeah, there's a charm again. I hope Growlon can stall somehow. There's gonna be a neutral power whip essentially. Oh, bounce. Okay, perfect. I, I don't know why they didn't this power whip, but I mean, I'll take it. Let's bolt up again. It'll probably just charm me to minus six, but I mean, that's fine by me though. This bulk up is just always gonna win us this game. Yeah, there's a charm. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, we just bulk up. Oh, bounce. Oh, crit. Are they... Do they even have power whip? <laughs> I know that's a crazy thing to say, but... They're never... They've never clicked power whip yet. And I'm kind of in shock. Okay, we protect. A protect. Yeah, I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, they trick room. Yeah, they have no attack on Whimsicott. We just need to kill on Serena. We're plus three, he's plus two. We're like minus five. <laughs> oh man. Charm again, okay. Does he reveal power whip now? This is finally the power whip turn. No? What the heck? Yeah, I don't understand what's happening right now. To be perfectly honest with you. Have we this? Or are getting recovery with leftovers, I suppose. So I guess I can't be too mad about it. We still have like four minutes left.
But yeah, I guess they don't have Power Whip. It's the only justification I can find for that play. So they have Bounce, Protect, whatever the last move is. So I'm gonna actually bulk up here. Cause it is bouncing for whatever reason. I don't understand. Okay, they help me hand. Are they finally revealing Power Whip? High jump kick, actually, okay. Fair chunk. So they have protect, high jump kick, bounce. What's the last move? I don't really get it. I will bulk up again anyways, because I think they bounce here. I am so confused. <laughs> I am unbelievably confused. first <laughs> they bounce okay I'm gonna take the initiative of here though and finally rock slide I think now I'm safe to this quick rock slide for the rest of the game man I am so confused Final hit. Perfect. <laughs> Balance as all things should be. Rock slide again. More faster because he set trick room for me. He still has one more turn to fill in. Okay, the helping hand. Is this where they reveal Power Whip? <laughs> that would be really funny. Nope, it is die. Never mind. <laughs> that was a game. I hope you guys were very excited watching that one. <laughs> oh man. I like, honestly you should follow the Atmosphere VGC Twitch channel for more content like that. What epic content. That's why you all should be following. <laughs> I've never seen an endgame like that though, that was so weird. I thought like every turn they were this quick power whip and they were this toying with me and they never did. It was very bizarre. I wish we could have saw their team though. They had no attack Whimsicott and they just kinda... They just kinda never quick power whip. Yo, Jossie, thank you for the follow. I love to see it, I love to see it. Or will 7 0 right now. You might actually get a little perfect win streak in the Master Ball. However many games that takes, I don't know. Even though it's in the weirdest fashion possible. Or I might go to Sweet first, who knows, who knows. <laughs> oh, we're getting this kind of stuff again. I kind of feel like I can just spawn Zacian and do it, and like Groudon, PQ back. Ba, ba, ba.
I wonder if they have Willow. <laughs> it's probably just gonna Willow me and it's gonna be great. But honestly though, I invite it. I'm down. Quick that Willow was brother. Ashamed to say I struggled when series 12 first started, but managed to get to the Master Ball through a lot of trial and error. That's not too bad. Like honestly, all that matters is if you get there. It doesn't matter how you get there. And like how you move forward from that, you know? Like, if you have a bad win-loss going to Master Ball, who cares? That's not your end-of-season result. <laughs> all, you do, all you have to do is play more games. And eventually you'll get to, like, the higher and higher ladder, you know? You get to little rank 1, you know? You know? <laughs> okay, I embarrassed myself here. <laughs> it seems I've made a mistake. <laughs> we'll airstream into that. But I'm honestly fine with that, though. We're getting sub for this. Like, sure, we're not getting an airstream, but it's kind of fine. Poison top 500? Yeah, it's not too bad. Just need a sustain, you just need a sustain. I'm still gonna play rough with a Dragon Bolt. Yeah, he protects Torn. It's fine by me. Dragon Bolt Phantom, Sedation, of course. Oh, we miss. <laughs> you know the crazy thing though? I actually don't think missing that play rough was that bad for us. To be like perfectly honest. I think I airstream again at this play rough. But I think this gives me another chance at a free boost. And getting a double KO on Torn and Dragapult is like so much more valuable. They taunt. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Okay, they're phantom forcing again. Interesting. Because that means they're going to lose their tailwind. They are going to lose their tailwind for this damage. They do stall out my Dynamax basically perfectly though. But yeah, the tailwind's going to be gone. I'm going to have a plus two position in speed. Which I honestly think that's a perfectly valid way to get used to Zal Dynamax. But it is a little unfortunate because we're not going to have Dynamax with any game. But it's like, it's not as, as bad as it may seem, I don't think. Yeah. He does get a Protect here though, which annoys me a little bit, I'm going to be honest. I will Blade the Dragapult just to guarantee the KO this time. Protect? Yeah. Damage on Pond is okay though. Get the blade. So I guess the question now is if the Kyogre Scar or not. You take care of the drag bolt. You will get another tailwind going for sure. This is actually worth it. Who knows, who knows? Yo, someone is streaming VGC, and I am that someone. Yeah, how you doing, Evan? How you doing? You do be the VGC streamer at 1 a.m. You love to see it. Um, hmm. I kind of just need a KO. Doesn't really matter where it is. Like, this getting a KO here is so huge. Yeah, they Tailwind. Actually, I should have double torn now that I think about it. Because all I want is a KO. I don't really need anything else. But it's fine, they target my Zacian anyways. And we love. <laughs> 
That's even better. That's in fact even better. But we still have PQ Groudon on the back too. They they have Dynamax though. They do have Dynamax. We don't. So it's not all good. It is not all good. Okay, we shake off the taunt. Oh, he was faster. Unfortunate. Oh, he targets the end, actually. Okay. But player off is going to do so much to Kyogre. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> goodbye, friend. <laughs> I'm surprised they targeted like that though. And that they didn't protect the other Mon. But either way, a win's a win, I guess. <laughs> or that they didn't Dynamax their Kyogre too. This is another thing they could have done. So maybe that was a misclick. We have the clutchest Zaytee in the world, Evan. We insanely clutch out here. Corsola. Okay. Cursula, Cursula. I think Venu is like really good into this. Like Venu Dawn in general. And we probably want Zacian. Savile Eye is a bit annoying though, I'll admit to that. What a weird team from our opponent having Executor, Lola, and Cursula. And the uh, double land titans and Kyogre and Groudon too. It's kind of hype. That do be kind of hype. Alright. It'll be interesting to see what they lead. I honestly have no clue. Not a clue in the world. The way people rage quit like that? Yeah. I think it's because he misclicked, I guess. He was just like really upset that he misclicked. Okay, he still had Dynamax. And he could have still Dynamax that Kyogre, and he just didn't. So at least that's what I think it is. But yeah, it's still pretty weird regardless. I think that's like your second Rage Coin of the day. Though the other one made more sense, I think. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, Kyogre, Sabalai. Venusaur, Zacian. I kind of think we just double. Yo, thank you for the follow, Grata. How you doing? How you doing? I think I just double, to be honest. I could also double Sableye, but eh. Just to minimize damage potential here. It could be Scarf, but if he's Scarf, he's not killing me. So I think it's a fine scenario. If he goes for a Willow, his Kyogre's probably dying to the Vine last Poirot double of anyways. So I think that still this works out for us. I could be proven wrong, and this could go like really bad, but who knows. Yo, thank you for the follow, Lati. Yeah, there's the Dynamax, though. There's the Dynamax. 
Well, maybe it's a quash and a max water randomization. That would make sense. Or it's a max Hillstorm and a Venusaur, and I'm pretty happy about that. We'll see, though. We'll see. If they allow any damage to go off, it's pretty consequential for them. I don't think they really can afford to lose the Kyogre in the early game. Like, this looks like you're advertising that you're losing Kyogre. But this could be a Max Guard and a will o -Wisp, and that would be such a sick play. But no, this is a Quas and a Venusaur. But yeah, Venusaur's not going to die, though. <laughs> we did just get the play rough, too. Oh, you max lightning to stop the sleep powder, but there is no sleep powder coming, brother. Yeah, this game vine lash. I do wonder how much this will do to Kyogre, because I know assault this Kyogre is a thing. But I don't feel like this one is. Yeah, it's not. Okay. So this is gonna die to the vine lash chip now, and he got basically nothing out of that turn. It will be interesting to see if he goes like Groudon and he quashes, right? Yeah, it was a, it, that, it just didn't really do too much. <laughs> he played so hard to stop a Sleep Powder and he just got nothing for it. Um, well, you see, this is a scenario I expect to rage quit, honestly. Okay, Executor actually. But, hmm. I'm just gonna kill it. I will play rough anyways. I, I think there's still a possibility they will a wisp my Zacian. But I'm gonna be honest, at this point, I don't think I really should care. I just need damage going out. Oh, Endure, actually. That doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, there's the Willow, but if you're clicking Endure, with your executor, I, I, sure. This just doesn't do too much for you. Christ, that's so much damage still. Sawai does not die. I want the berry too. Yo. So now, just in case of like a Quash shenanigan, I Vine Lash and Behemoth Blade the Executor. So if he Quashes my Zacian, we still get the Vine Lash. Even though it's a negative... <laughs> it's a 1 fourth damage move. It's... oh. Cost of Fairy. Okay. I was not expecting that honestly, but... I think that still means we get a Behemoth Blade to kill Executor off, right? Uh, it won't have a fire move to kill me. Oh, it does. Okay. But it won't kill me. Yeah. Hmm. We're at oh, yeah, because of the sun, we're faster now. <laughs> I was about to say what the heck happened, but no. Fine last damage. This is probably going to be a quash into my Venusaur, if I had to guess. Is it worth doing anything differently though? I don't think so. Like I feel like we still this quick buttons here. But we most definitely win. Yeah, there's the Quash into Venusaur, and this is probably going to be oppressive blades into with the Groudon. He will get a double KO, but eh, I think it's okay for me. Okay, I still just have my Groudon, my own Groudon on the back in a P2. And since I'm bulk up, I'm, and I have Foul Play as well, there's no way I'll lose this scenario. He does actually Heat Crash though. Life Orb? No, okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna Behemoth Blade, and I'm gonna Foul Play. Just because those moves don't miss. <laughs> I'm always a believer of how, like, you can close out a game faster when it's already secured. And this is an example of that, because it's less animation time, and it's like... It doesn't miss. <laughs> Cause yeah, this game's already locked. Even a crit won't be able to KO the PQ. And even if it does, we still have our own Groudon in the back at full HP, and we actually get a crit right there. To lock the game. So we haven't dropped a game yet. You'll love to see it. Okay. One more for Ultra Ball and a little Tenno win streak going. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay. Kieran White, Yveltal. <laughs> I do go Zacian as lead for sure. I think I go Zacian instant, honestly. And I'll like Groudon back with PQ. Yeah. Because P2 is a good closer versus Kiram. Because I can just eerie impulse it. That is interesting. We're getting some of the craziest teams. Like, honestly, earlier, the teams we were playing were normal. But now the teams we're playing are kind of more out there. The later we have gotten, which honestly should probably be the reverse of how it works. But, you know, this is how it is today. This is how it is. Regielecki Grim. Hmm. Um, I kind of just want to kill Grim turn one, to be honest. <laughs> I already just want to kill Grim turn one. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> if he reveals to be like faster with Fake Out and he goes for a Dynamax, I'm going to cry. With a Lucky, but he won't. <laughs> no way. I don't believe it. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> I, I really did want to kill that. Hmm. Lucky Helmet too, huh? <laughs> it's kind of BM. And Thunderbolt, alright. This is what I get, huh? This is what I get? I understand. That does no damage. <laughs> I'm gonna go into Groudon, straight up now. I kind of feel like I have no choice after waiting that happen. And I think I go Groudon and I start this hard going for bulk ups for the rest of the game. Because Regieleki won't be able to break Groudon. And we can get Trick Room up with P2. And we can kill Kiram, like that. Okay, perfect. I do wonder if he has Toxic though, because Toxic would actually mess me up if he goes for it. So I guess I should respect the Toxapex, just because if it Toxics me, it's a little annoying. Oh, there's the Toxic. In a PT though, so it's fine. I'm just gonna quake the Toxapex and go for an Eerie Impulse too. I'm confident we should be able to get something, right? If he goes into Kiram, that's perfect. Kiram? Grim, huh? Sure. But yeah, Toxapex goes down. We'll get a quake off. 
And we can Eerie Impulse the Kieran White when it comes in again. Alright. Yeah, we Quake. The Tox Effects. I like Banful Bunkers, sure. That just gives me another turn to Quake. So. <laughs> I am fine with that. I won't set up Trick Room just because I don't want my Groudon to get toxic. But. I will just keep quaking that Toxapex SWAT. I don't think there's any risk to it. And I'll Eerie Impulse again. Because, like, if he goes Kira, he's just not going to do any damage anymore. Kira? Or is it Reggie Lucky this time? Yeah, Reggie Lucky again. Okay. Oh, he has Trick. Ugh. It's kind of gross. gonna be sad. No, it's not sashed. Okay. All right, and Kieran's probably gonna come back in now. I imagine. Maybe Pex again. He just goes for another painful bunker on me. Or toxic, I guess. There's Kira. So I'm gonna Eerie Impulse it and Quake again. Yeah. Kira shouldn't be able to KO anything. I am pretty confident in that statement. If it doesn't get the KO, then PT's gonna die to Toxic. And we can just get an Eerie Impulse off too. Actually, he has fake tears. Okay, never mind. I forgot that could be a scenario. So maybe it does KO. <laughs> uh. Nope. This is actually really annoying though, because I'm not sure how we beat Tox Effects anymore. <laughs> as funny as that sounds. Um, I'm just running a uh, Groudon, Venu, Thun, Instant, PQ. There's nothing too crazy, but we have a bulk of Groudon, which is a little abnormal. Oh man, I actually might lose to this. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'll we'll actually switch out Grod on here. <laughs> the eerie impulse. I need Grod on. <laughs> but I feel like because of the lagging kill, the Tox Effects' the skull kills me in the end game, anyways. Quake is smart. PT though? No, it isn't, yeah. Of course. I want PT to die, please. PT going down for me would be so good. Unironically. Yeah, there's a spirit break, it's fine. An instant again. Ugh. PT would die. Please. <laughs> it's 
dead for sure. Now we can be even play something. So I think the Kiram is going to switch out into Toxapex. So we're going to read that right now. Taking so much damage. Kiram's always so scared for this team, and this is the fact that he has Trick. We want Zayshi and take so much damage. Oh man. It really does stack up. But yeah, I, I'm gonna read the switch from Kiram here and this uh parting shot it and blade for Grimstraw. If it reveals like Thunder Wave, I'm gonna cry. Okay, perfect. I think we win then. I actually think we win. I don't see a way that the Toxapex does enough damage to get through my lawns. And we're not even taking Halo anymore because we're going for a parting shot. That was a lot closer than I ever should have been. We got a lot, a lot closer than I ever should have been. But yeah, we get the parting shot. We're going in Groudon. I might go instant again. Let's go more lagging tail. Now the question is, do I protect my Zacian? That is really the question here. I feel like I do. So yeah, I'll protect Zacian here. We'll see. I think Kira White most certainly protects or goes into the Zacian slot. If it does that, I'm so happy. We'll see. Freeze dry. Uh. It won't kill though. Scald as well. No damage. Perfect. Nice. Now we just need to hit one blades. That's all we need now. One precipice. Precipice press blades, dude. If we just get one press of blades, we win. He's gonna recover. That's fine. Doesn't really change my scenario. I, I do this attack though. I'm fine with taking the rocky helmet damage as long as I get some chip. We're just gonna Dark Slayer and we're gonna Blade. Oh, they have Baneful Bunker, okay. That really doesn't change anything because we don't get Poison. And if the Poison damage kills instant, that's better for me. <laughs> yeah. Go growl on. We need a kill. We need a hit. Yeah, this is our time. How many turns of the sun? One. Okay. Perfect. Come on, growl on. For the love of God, growl on. Please. Please, please, please. Here we blades. We died a Rocky Helmet, of course, but Groudon, one job. There's a Scald, no burn. No burn. Blades? Yes, okay, we won. Oh my lord, that was way closer than it ever should have been. Like way, way closer. Holy dude.
Ooh, that was exhausting, man. But we in Ultra Ball, boys. The 10 0 right now. The 10 0, dude. I don't know, I always find a way to make Kieran White games for this team like so close. <laughs> like it doesn't even matter what team it is, it seems. Yo, thank you for the follow, Dimongo. Hope you're having a good night or oh, good morning. However it is, however it is. But yeah, thank you all so much for staying out here. I really appreciate it. I know like almost all of you have came from uh, Master Mark. But regardless of this means so much to me that you guys are staying and watching a little bit. Bah, bah. And we will be getting Master Ball with a little 11 0, you know? So you gotta stick around, you gotta stick around. Realization. I'm actually gonna go Thun, Groudon, P2. Be new. It's a little greedy, I know, but it's not her station back. There's so many fire types. I'm gonna go my own Incin. I feel like Incin's we get a Trick Room late game and get it for Groudon. I feel like I get Groudon Trick Room. That's a pretty good scenario for me. Even if my Dynamax plan doesn't work out. Cause my uh, Dynamax plan, I just try to go for an airstream and get a rock slide <laughs> and kill the Charizard that way. But I think he's gonna go Lecky and Charizard. I was right, unfortunate. But yeah, the reason I didn't want to see that is because he can quick Electro Web, <laughs> and that's actually really bad for me. That is really, really bad for me. But yeah, this is probably gonna be a Dynamax. And yo, thank you, Demonga. Probably gonna be an e webs and a max square in my Charizard. I mean, my Groudon. <laughs> uh, well, if he does go for an Electro Web, right? Then he's gonna die to a Lightning. Yeah, I'm gonna gamble and say e webs and we just trade. Let's try to play off that. Okay. I'm gonna be so sad if they don't quick electro up here. <laughs> like actually I will be it'll be so tragic. I am giving them the KO on Groudon. The quick E webs. Please, I beg of you. <laughs> please kind man. Kind girl, please. I always give us a trade. Hit <laughs> Ewebs. Yeah, okay. Hit. Perfect. I'm down for that. But maybe I could have protected Groudon since I was so confident in this scenario. I could have just protected. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't protect Groudon. <laughs> Well, we live anyways, and we get a rock slide going. But yeah, this is really good for us. It's getting rid of Charizard turn one like this. And a little rock slide ship onto the Regilecki as well. Like, you can't write it up better than that, honestly. You just simply cannot. And honestly, we might live a wildfire ship. It would be pretty crazy. And we do. We do take a lot of damage with Groudon. But well, we just have leftovers, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. Not even a little bit. Now the question is, do I want to switch out Thunderous and conserve it? He's probably just going to Thunderbolt me. Or do I just let it die and go for oppressive Blades? Both scenarios are okay. Yeah, 
there's the Groudon. But the reason I say that, uh, I think it's very important to get an Intimidate off on the Groudon here. And this actually would maximize the amount of Intimidates we could have going for us. And I will actually bulk up as well, because there's going to be a Zacian in the back. If I want to be able to beat Zacian, just having one, a couple bulk ups going is such a huge part to it, I think. Yeah, we go for the Intim. And we can sack Thunderous on the next turn. White Herb, actually. Okay. That's a little annoying because they get this quick uh, Blades here instead of going for a Swords Dance. Yeah, they do. Uh, this, oh, we live. The Impis uh, Incineroar coming in clutch right there. Like, that is so clutch. Because now we can just switch out our Ensign into Thunderous. Or we can go for a Fake Out. But I think we actually just switch it hard. That's a little bit of chip. Yeah, we go out with Ensign into Thunderous. We sack it here and go for a Blades. And a good thing Wildfire will be down soon as well. And we'll get an Intimidate on Zacian if it is indeed the back Pokemon. So yeah. Okay. Protect, that's fine. If we hit Blades, this is a perfectly fine scenario. Or you miss E-Webs. Okay. Honestly, even if we um, don't hit Blades, it's still pretty fine. <laughs> It might actually be better this because we get Trick Room. Eh, it's fine still. And now he's gonna go into Zacian. Wildfire for another turn. <laughs> yeah, Wildfire is hurt, dude. What a crazy move. It actually bonkers move. Okay, there's Zacian. Neutral, and we are plus one with our Groudon. I think he's gonna protect the Zacian. So I'm gonna go for a little gamble here and fake out the Groudon. And go for a bulk up. I'll go for a blades actually. Fake out blades. I think it's a little better in case they sub. But I think the Zacian most certainly should protect here. Cause like I can fake out the Zacian with blades, and your Groudon doesn't kill my Groudon. So there's no real justification for letting that happen. Well, let's see if they just go for it anyways. That'd be pretty crazy. Oh, they do. They don't protect. I think we might live anyways, though. Yeah, Sacred Sword. Uh, yeah. So the Blades just kills Zacian now. Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, the Wildfire is doing a lot, though. I like guess adding up a bit. Just for sure. But the good thing we still have a P2. A full HP. <laughs> so this is still fine. Trace the drought. I will just foul play. There's no point in going for Trick Room here, I don't think. Yeah. Blades. He's minus one Groudon. Yeah, it's no damage at all. I just have to hope the foul plays will carry me here. <laughs> uh, maybe I do have the trick room. I'll foul play again. 
Rock slide. Uh. Okay, we foul play. Let's see. Okay, that's enough. We just need one more. It's one more, one more. Okay, rock slide again. No points, no crits. Perfect, we got him. Yeah, the reason I didn't quick trick room there is because I quick trick room. That's just giving him another turn to winch me or crit me. And just do a little more damage to me. Yeah, that's a nice little win streak. Okay. So I think we're this one game from Master Ball, right? So we win this one at least. We get a little 12 0 streak going, yeah? Oh, Senna Scorch, okay. That's an interesting Pokemon to have our Master Pool game in. <laughs> so yeah, I think I go Thunzation. And Groudon back. I could have Venusaur, but I don't think it matters too much. So I think we're just okay with going this. Go PQ. Yo, thank you, Wappa. Tapa Wappa. <laughs> yeah, PQ or Incident. I think mm, there's justification for bow. There is justification for bow. I actually go Incense because I can get the Intimidate on Zacian and I just have Big Out and Parting Shot. Uh, I think P2 might have been better though for Zapdos. If I can get Trick Room going, and I can kind of just destroy the Zapdos endgame. But hey, having Instant is still pretty good too. It is interesting that we're just ignoring Gastrodon, but I think we'll be fine. Cause I'm, th I'm just that confident in Thunderous is putting in a lot of work here in Zacian. We'll see though. I could be proven wrong. Gastrodon this goes to town on me. Which is very possible. <laughs> Might I add, very possible. Well, there's the Gastrodon. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the KO on your Voltol. I think getting that is actually more important than the Gastrodon. It, Gastrodon could just max Quake me though. Which I am essentially by doing all this, I'm allowing Growl I'm allowing Gastrodon to beat me. Cause I don't think it will beat me. <laughs> Which is of course very risky, but it's very high risk, high reward, I think. Cause like, I think if you're my opponent, you think the double. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say that you should think that I double up the Gastrodon here, cause Gastrodon goes to town. Otherwise, but no. Nah. We do get a kill on Senna Scorch, but that's not that important for our end game at all. <laughs> so it's actually pretty bad, especially if the Gastrodon goes for a. Quake. If it goes for a Yawn, I'm okay with that. Okay, it doesn't go for a Quake. It's probably just a Yawn then. We do miss the Poirot, but we're getting Airstream though. Oh, it doesn't kill because of Cobra Berry. Okay. 
fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, I suppose. But yeah, the airstream, half health, descend scorch. Nice. Um What is Gastrodon doing? Scald, okay. No earth power? It feels like no earth power. But I think I can airstream and I can sub. This makes sure Sand Scores dies. Eh. And I don't think he has a way to stop this because it's called. Oh, and yeah, he protects. That's fine. I don't think Scald's breaking sub is why I did this play. If he does have Earth Power, I don't need to respect the Gastrodon, I don't think either. Gone, okay. Getting Yawn there is perfectly fine for me. I'm just going to knuckle the Gastro and just have my Zacian go in now. We kill the Senna Scorch. But yeah, the reason I'm targeting Senna Scorch, even though I don't think it's a threat, is because it does have the potential to break my Zacian sub. And all the endgame I'm going for here is a sub Zacian plus two big boost. <laughs> Which is also why I'm just fine with allowing the Yawn to go off there. I don't think it's called breaking, and I don't think he has a power. It's called, yep. Endization. Can we take it? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Do you go to sleep here, though? Well, I think Thunder is more than did his job here. And it still has the potential to do more, because I don't think my opponent actually has an easy way to KO my Thun. And there's a chance that Yvettel goes for like some um, darkness. So it's just locked out of that move altogether. I don't want to see this once to give my Thunderous boost and the chance to wake up. Yeah, I'm going to Wild Charge. I'm just gonna play rough Castro. I was thinking of Behemoth blading your Veltal, but I don't think it's too necessary. We already have enough speed boost going to. So it's, it's fine, it's fine. They could switch out into their own Zacian, but that's still a lot of chip where a plus two Zacian go for a play rough. Even an opposing Zacian is not gonna like taking that too much. And it would put him into range too. But yeah, we're just gonna get the player off, it should kill. Nice. We live. It's kinda insane. Foul plays the Thun. I don't really agree with that from the opponent though. I feel like that's actually kinda bad for them. Now I um just bringing Groudon. I can click Rock Slide and Blades. And once again, I don't think there's a way my opponent can get through the Groudon endgame. Yeah, we rock slide, we beam with blade. He protects the Gastrodon, but I don't really know what that's doing for him. Yeah, the beam with blade comes out.
Oh, Rillaboom, okay. I was not expecting it to be Rillaboom in the back, I'm gonna be honest. But that's still fine for me. Can I have this quick blade? I just press it again. Or is this all good? Well, double blades turn. You'll probably fake out my Zacian and then hope my blades misses, but I still don't think he gets enough out of that that I really should care. Yeah, fake out Zacian. Yep. And now we get our blades. Does it hit? It misses actually. You get the recover. But I still just don't have earth power. <laughs> Whereas I think if you're learning anything from this game, you're learning that A, have earth power on your gastrodon. <laughs> like this is a textbook example. They just had earth power. They're all good, they're all good. Blades. Why don't we do Dynamax though? I wonder if it's the Gastro now. <laughs> or is Rilla? If it's Rilla, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Because there's no way it's gonna live a plus Q Behemoth Blade, I don't think. Especially at that HP. Gastro protects, alright. gone dude melted Yeah, we just uh, attack again. We just kind of attack again. And it's cancelled. Nice! This should be Master Ball. This should be Master Ball, dude. Do we got it? Yo. I think, Alex, if you just watch your games back, eventually you'll just be able to do it. Because all the time. And sometimes I'm inconsistent with it myself. <laughs> if I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Are we Master Ball? Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go! Hell yeah. One stream, Master Ball already. You want to see it. Old 12 0. Classy. A classy old 12 0 right there. You love to see that. Uh, okay, I'm probably going to look for someone to raid. If you haven't followed already, follow. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to run like a couple ads while I look for someone to raid. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out, though. We'll be done in a second. There's Evan. There's Brian. Point League of Legends. Blackleaf. Michael. Hmm. Stuff of anime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's an honest question right there. But 
But yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow, dude. Hmm. Actually, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Idea, idea, idea. Idea, idea. Okay, we're gonna be raiding WD Michael. He was the one who actually hosted the tournament for today that we'll be playing in tomorrow as well. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. And, and, and. We'll be back tomorrow, 6 p.m., for top cut of that tournament. That should be pretty fun. Same team. And I will actually check real quick while I'm at it. Who do I play tomorrow? <laughs> it's pretty important to know. But yeah, yeah. We'll send it over to him in a second. I'm just going to check. Yeah, B. Smithy's the one seed. I'm the four seed. So there's 14. All right. So I think I get a buy, actually. No, I don't think I do. <laughs> I thought about it for a second. Yeah, 314. So I think I play Z-Man tomorrow for cut. But yeah, we'll be back at like 6 p.m. tomorrow, tomorrow. Versus Mr. Z-Man, I believe. <laughs> I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But yeah, I'm just going to send it over now to WD Michael. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But yeah, back here tomorrow. 7. <laughs> and we good, we good. <laughs>